damn, it's gonna be a long night. Yeah, let's go. Look, look, look. I tell Shorty, drop it for a real one. Yeah. Go ahead and pop it, let me feel some. Do it for the boy with a bag yeah. now. Movie star money, making everybody act out. Hey. I don't lie to these women. If I want them, then I tell them. Don't yeah. get fly for these women. I was born with these propellers. All my haters cannot beat me, so I call them acapellas. Hey. See, I'm only getting better. You only get jealous. You know that I run it. I run it. Everything you want to do, I already done it. Hey. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one, that one. Damn, it's going to be a long night, 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 night.
gonna be a long night. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Yoda Community Cup Season Two, sponsored by Exit Lab, Pandey Electronics, Max, Britannia, and Saar Gamers. And uh, today we have an amazing lineup. It's going to be round of 32 today. So this is going to be the first match of round of 32. So hope you guys enjoy it. So as of now, the first match, first match is going to be up against Hot Shot Esports and Astidia, the two teams that dominated in day one in round of 64. It's going to be interesting. Well, uh, since these two teams are going up against each other, so bo- all the teams are ready. We are go- ready to go ahead and uh, play the match. So, what do you think, watching Abhis, about the first match of the day? Yep, and uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel, guys. Yoda Esports are the organization that is bringing you this amazing tournament cups. There might be more tournaments coming up in the future, so don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn that post notification on so that you don't miss any streams. As well as go and join the Discord if you want to take part in any of these tournaments. So as of now, we are ready, and the match is going to start any moment. We are waiting for the admin's call. So we have an interesting lineup today. I mean, it's going to be the a similar lineup that we saw in round of 64. But today it's going to be kind of a little bit different because both the teams have been very dominant in the round of 64. So we have no idea who's going to win because both the teams are equally talented and it's going to be equally paced. So it's going to be interesting to see how this t- match turns up. So the first map, I mean, the map they are going to be playing is going to be Ascent and Hotshot Esports are going to be attacking while Team Astria they're going to be on the defender side. So let's see which team uh, stands up and moves to the round of 16. So we will find the result down in maybe less than a forty or fifty minute match. So let's see what we have for us. Yep, and uh, that we should say, but I don't know what's going to happen here. So let's hope we have a good map to match up against uh, uh, the both the teams today. So it's going to be uh, Astria team Astria versus team Hotshot Esports. So you you can as you can clearly see, it's going to be uh, 
team uh Asteria, they're gonna be on the defender side so we can see some interesting picks coming up from their side but maybe most probably she is going to be playing that jet role she's just trying to troll us out by picking that euro out maybe or something or maybe they have a different kind of plan uh yep going ahead because you can already see mia going on uh, mia and muffin loop going on that uh duelist locks the rays and that phoenix combo so it's going to be interesting to see how they play out that and on the other side you can see a single duelist uh, pick coming from the side of hotshot esports uh they go rose king goes for that jet pick and uh, you can see a pretty much standard lineup going for that uh, double initiator setup and uh, it's going to be interesting because the, for the first time we're going to see a team going for a double initiator setup on an attacking side because it's going to be very helpful for them they might have a little bit of advantage because initiators usually set up your attack so let's see what happens here it's uh, it's all upon the team let's see how they play it out and uh, yep here we go you guys uh, this is the first match of round of 32 and this is the first day and this is going to be the first match and uh, we are going to start with round number 1 at any moment soon deploy me a mic muter and fixed it. fixed so guys sorry for the technical issue uh, yeah obs guys uh, can't really do anything there uh, so sorry for that yeah we will be starting soon it is me watching abes other side in the intro that you missed it is me watching abes and deployed you can find our social in the description and uh, yeah don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button we have an yeah. interesting game ahead of us and i hope you guys will enjoy what's going to happen in the upcoming rounds yeah so we are going to in the first round we see a uh, different kind of setup from the side of hotshot esports they are trying to move towards the b side i mean towards the a side so they are ready to go for an a side push and you can see miao holding up yeah. that a long angle maybe she's going to go for that early pick she might pick someone up so we have to wait and see what happens here you can see hotshot esports say uh, getting ready for that a aggressive push maybe because we can see all five men towards the a side and we can see uh, that's going to be a a shot push a very very aggressive a shot push from the sky and the Jet and Rengo is going to be using flash to get that a shot control. He's going to get that reach control. Will get concast go and will uh, will now mind now mind. Hotshot is for the quick 3k for them. Rengo getting going with that one kill. Techno and Rose King takes out Casper and uh, uh, her both of her teammates. And it's going to be Rain a five lagged out. Yep, Rain got lagged out and uh, yeah, he's back now. She's back now. Mind. I mean, he's back now. Mind. So it's going to be a five e two in the favor of Hotshot Esports. And they have the side. It's going to be all up to. Uh, Britsy and Shire to take this uh, all up on themselves and get the round for the team. Uh, yeah, and so, obviously uh, they don't have a choice to go for a save because it's going to be a pistol round. If they decide to go for a save, then the next round that's going to be coming for them is going to be pretty hard. So they will try to get the round. They will try to clutch it off. As at the moment they have utilities enough utilities to go for that clutch. And will Shire will get one, but will get taken down by Rose King. And with that, the first round goes to Hotshot Esports. Yeah, so so sorry for the delays, guys. I'm just waiting for the production to go uh, to show us the screen. So Valorant, uh, I think Discord is bugging out. Uh, yeah, we will be I'll, we we will have a good day lined up ahead of us, and uh, it should be very nice to see what's going to happen in the upcoming rounds as well. The first round is going to go towards HSE, and it was a good push, good try from Shrey, uh, Shreya, and I must say a one kill on the scoreboard for Shreya as well. The whole team, however, did not really manage to get a kill, uh, but it is going to be the second round coming in. The deagle, uh, the sheriff by coming in from Rose King, half shield, very aggressive, very bold move coming in from Rose King in the attacker side. Uh, however, they are playing on classics on the defensive, so it is a doable situation. A nice fast short push coming in, and uh, everyone's going to be rotating from B towards A. And I think Sky is going to be pushing towards Heaven, uh, under Heaven. A nice position for the after plant has the dog ready and they have to just wait around and uh, probably secure one or two frags of team and then move to the after plant situation uh, in a main Rain God holding uh, if he spams through right now he's gonna be connecting to Sova he's, no he's not gonna be connecting to Sova did spot him off though and now Mia on the other hand is gonna be taking down Rose King with a nice nade kill on Jenny Casper taking two down Bitter and Rain God uh, what is what was that wipeout? Ace wiping out every single player on team. Oh my god, Asteria has been wiped out by Ace. I don't know what happened there. 4k coming in from Ace. Super fast, super quick. Did not give them a chance to blink. Yep, and uh, you can see Ace Grace almost going for that Ace there. But just following one kill shot from, the, from getting that Ace. It would have been iconic, but he... 
did an amazing job to come for the round for their team since uh, even though it was an eco round for the side of uh, Asteria they were looking strong because they got they got two picks in that eco round and as of now it's gonna be a bonus round for Hotshot Esports while it's gonna be a full buy round for uh, Team Asteria so they're gonna be looking to take this round you can see Techno going for that early drone pick and it's not gonna spot anyone at the moment because you can see Stay and the Sova they're gonna be watching that mid side with the help I mean uh, obviously the B main side is gonna be watched by Shrey's uh, utilities so the alarm board is gonna spot out if uh, Sova tries to walk inside Side. and uh, Shrey will get concussed at the moment by the Trail Blazer will get taken down by Rose King and they have the hooker control I mean they have the market control at the moment and it's gonna be a 5-3 in the favor of yeah, Hotshot Esports yet again it's gonna be a bonus round for them but they already have a Vandal and a Phantom for themselves to make this round work for them it's gonna be a 3v5 all up to Muffin Luke Miao and Casper to clutch this round up and we can see Muffin Luke making a way planted. towards the mid and will get taken down Miao on the other hand will take down uh, Bitter and it's gonna be a 4v2 Still in the favor of Hotshot Esports, and you can see Meow top mid gets another, and it's gonna be all up to Meow to clutch one piece. It's gonna be Rain God who takes out Meow, and with that, it's gonna be the third round on the board for Team Hotshot Esports. And with that, you can see it was a bonus round for Hotshot Esports, so now they have a bigger advantage on themselves because Team Astria, after losing that round, will be forced to an ego yet again. And uh, you can see Hotshot Esports, they are looking strong because this is going to be a buy round for them. With a round, I mean, with three adv uh, round advantages on them on their hand, while Team Astria they go for they settle for that eco, eco, uh, eco save. So yep. So yeah, I think uh, there is a little bit tech issue deployed. I think the screens have just turned off, and uh, we will be casting it. Don't worry about that, guys. Uh, it is going to be Rose King, uh, Ring God with the Sky Dog. Meow is going to be shooting Rose King through the wall. A nice one tap sheriff. Coming in, and now he has to move. Techno is down to 12 HP. A shock dart coming in. Concuss as well does not connect. The ring god cleaning up Britsy and Stray. Meow, another kill on the scoreboard. A nice double kill from the sheriff. And now Techno down to 12 HP. Has to has to tag Phoenix. And now it, it they have a very low HP count as of now. HSC basically down to a 1v2 situation. It is down to a 1v2 situation indeed. A flash coming in. Techno blinded muffin loop. Cleaning it up, a nice kill coming in from Muffin Loop and Meow. By the way, don't forget Meow, guys. Meow had two early round, um, two early kills with the sheriff. Extremely important, I must say. Uh, absolutely annihilated them with the sheriff taps. And uh, Rengo did try his best to clear a side. However, people were dying middle, and uh, that was a little bit problematic for Team HSC. A good team play coming in from Team Assyria. However, HSC not that far behind in that case. They are playing good. A full buy coming in from both the sides, except for Rose King. He is going for the Blade Storm. And now everyone is buying except for Rose King. It is going to be interesting if he's going to go aggressive or play the passive role with the Blades. And a smoke coming in. Uh, I mean, a star coming in towards Get Shot. Out of my way. Oh, the Blade Storm coming in. Now Rain God holding for his teammate middle. No one peeking. And oh, Killjoy sneaking into B main. If we look at it carefully, the map is being. Yep, Killjoy sneaking it. in. So yeah, it's going to be going back. A division coming in. The Astral Wall coming in. A divide is something that can win them the round as well easily. On the other side, Techno and Ace Raid are Ace Raid are going to be taking down Muffin Loop and Meow. A pretty fast wipeout. Both the players down in a second, and it is going to be a call for Ray Rush. The bomb is coming in. Techno just outside of the Astral Pull. Ooh, Astra is going to be spotted by the recon. A noise smoke coming in from Jet. A one way indeed. Ah, this plant. I don't think Techno is going for the plant. Yeah, he is going for the plant for the uh, green boxes, super boxes plant. And now. They have to play the after plan really, really carefully. They don't want to lose a man advantage which they have already built up. 4v2 situation. So yeah, going aggressive in heaven, not really working. And okay, Casper as well in a in heaven. Phantoms coming in, and I think I think phantoms are doable because this is a situation for close range. They have to try great transfers as well. So yeah, it's gonna be picking backstab. No one really pushing there, Shreya. Good try though. This race is going to be capitalizing on the push and the back serve. 1 to 4 in the favor of Team HSC. Yep, and yet again you can see HSC walking with that round away and now they're looking very strong on their economy. As well as you can see from the side of Astria, it's going to be an eco except for Muffin Loop who has a, a, a appendix amount of uh, uh, economy on her. She's going to go for that uh, Phantom and a half shield buy while Britsy goes for that Spectre and a full shield buy. You can see Team Hotshot is both they're looking strong, they're going for that full buy and they also have enough credits to spare for the future upcoming round. So you can see it's gonna it's be going uh, Techno going to be droning out the A shot uh, portion just to check if nobody's like holding an angle or something. 
and he's gonna drone out probably he's gonna spot out one over here he spots out the soa he doesn't spot out the uh killjoy yet Ooh. that might be fatal for them but that's one doesn't manage to get the kill but it's gonna be shrey who's playing a very awkward spot over there and gets spotted out by rosie and will get killed ace is almost getting it casper cover coming for that cover and at the moment, Rishi is going to be very low on HP, will get taken down and Casper also get is taken down by Rose King and here we are having an amazing angle holding up there and she will get the kill, Muffin Luke will get another, it's going to be a 2v2 and they have the gun advantage at the moment and uh, Mia also has the main control, she, it's all up to Mia now, the way she plays it out, it's, it's gone, it's waited for a round oh and God. she gets the kill as well and it's, oh. uh, she will make it a 1v1 and Muffin Luke Having uh, activated the ult at mid, she will have to go for that retake on a 1v1 situation at the moment. She's gonna go for a sneaky backstab over here as you can see. And uh, but both the players, they have no idea where each other are. So it's gonna be interesting how to see. Maybe Muffin will get to go for the tap early on. So let's see. Rain God over here holding that heaven position. Uh, has no idea where Muffin Loop is gonna be pushing from. Maybe he has an idea she's gonna come from a main, but... Uh, he is watching all over the place. He's watching CT. He's watching Mark at the moment, and um, he's not uh, decisive of yet. He's maybe he's waiting for the tap on the bomb, and it's all up to Muffin Luke now. He's okay. She goes for that okay. diffuse. It doesn't she get man to get up, but oh, will no. get will get rain god. But I oh, don't no. think she has oh, enough no. time. Yes, she doesn't oh, have no. enough time. And with that, yeah, she missed the half diffuse. Yep. Oh, if she no. had got that half diffuse, maybe they. She could have sealed the round away, but unfortunately she couldn't do that because she, uh, she was scared that she would get flashed and she wouldn't. She would be get. Uh, she would get taken down, and uh, that uh, small. I mean, I wouldn't call it a mistake. I would call it just a moment. And uh, she was very far away from the mid, and it would be impossible for her to uh, come for a long backstab and to take one down and get the defuse down. So. Unfortunately, she didn't have enough time to go for the defuse even after an amazing retake. So the round will go to Archer Esports. Yeah, the one to five in the favor of Archer Esports. Meow. Very aggressive. I like it. The Vandal playstyle coming in. So was Drone. Not really spotting Meow. Just, just under the nick of time. I think Meow is going to be doing timing play here for the nade and the smoke. If she throws the nade towards J R Refrigerator, it's going to be over for X Ace Rays. However, she's playing a really run. passive, really passive angle. Killjoy are coming in towards A and uh, now they, they are all stuck in middle Techno going for the kill on Muffin Loop Meow flicking towards oh my god Meow absolutely insane flicks two headshot Rain God is going to be taken down as well and now Astra pulling them in as you heard a concast coming in a gravity well coming in as well a plant coming in from team HSE they have the side control however they don't really know Casper is playing the sneaky role under heaven if Sova sneaks very close, he is going to be taken down. He is going to be walking right into that. Now, Casper needs to smoke off him in. That is exactly what she will do. And now it is up to Casper to defuse the spike. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Peter is going to be holding. He's not going to be connecting the shot. Shreya is going to be helping the teammate. It's Casper going for the defuse. And the defuse is going to come in. Second round put on the scoreboard by Syria. <laughs> A pull coming in, wasting the last star that she had. That was an amazing round. You can see that uh, Casper, like, you can see her experience on play, going for the bomb defuse on a weird off angle. If she would have gone for that basic defuse on the right side of the bomb, uh, maybe she would have been taken out by Bitter. But Bitter was spamming on the right, uh, on, on her left. That is Casper's right. So unfortunately, uh, what do you call that? Uh, Casper was on an off angle. I would say it was br very brilliant, which helped her to get the defuse off. And it's gonna be round number two on the board for Team Astria. Yeah, both the teams looking strong, except for Techno going for that Bulldog buy and the rest of that. It should it should be pretty even except in terms of their buys. So let's see who goes and takes this round away. Britsy is gonna drone beam in. Probably gonna spot the turret and gonna spot the Killjoy as well. He's gonna tag Killjoy as well, and they will take down the turret at the four at the moment. And uh, Hotshot Esports, they are looking kind of split at the moment. Two going for that mid push and uh, Astra holding off the day main just to avoid any backstabs or any push from Meow that we got to see in that previous eco round of theirs. And uh, we can see a little bit of a push coming from the side of uh, Rain God and the Soa. They're moving, they may be making their way towards the A shot, towards the trees. And uh, with the help of her flashes, she's gonna clear out the angles and they, they have the trees control for, for the moment and Casper is gonna fall back. And she's gonna use the gravity well as well. Rose King will take down Meow from in the mid. And it's gonna be Britsy going for the trade but will not be successful and will get taken down as well. 
Ooh. You can see Rain God and Sova making their way towards the Rosy going for the third kill yet again get takes on Casper as well. You can see Grace, he's very low at low at HP at the moment and will take down the turret. They have the side control for themselves. It's gonna be a 5v2 and it's gonna be very hard for uh a team has here from the because she is on very low HP, but Muffin says no. She's got that one kill. Shrey with that low HP gets another. It's gonna be a 2v2 in the favor of still in the favor of Hotshot Esports, but over here, as Team Asteria, they are looking kind of strong in the retake. Even that though it's low HP and will get spammed from behind that amazing backstab from the side of Bitter. Yeah, that would be, I would call it well timed and uh, a little bit of luck there because of the timing. Because uh, you, what you would say, Muffin Loop was looking for that backstab for a while and as soon as she turned and she went for that early kill, she was very much focused on that site and uh, they get taken down. And now it's gonna be yet again an eco round if I'm imagining otherwise if they go for if they uh, decide to go for a force by it's up to them and now we can see a timeout coming from the side of team astria it's gonna be two six in the favor of hotshot esports we can see rain god uh maybe rose, rose king is going to drop his gun to rain god and maybe play on his blade storm or maybe he's gonna go and buy go and buy that gun and maybe techno can drop him or he's gonna buy it for himself and but for team astria it's gonna be an eco round or maybe a light buy for a few of them so for the last eco round they Played it a re little bit well, and I would say unfortunately they didn't have enough time to go for that diffuse. But uh, let's see what happens for them at the moment. She, as you can yeah. see in the on the day one, she was playing with the same kind of ping at 180 ms, but she did a really amazing job. And today also she's uh, proving to be a little effective for the team. What do you think? Yeah, so as I know, I think she's playing from Australia. Uh, I've known her for some time, and she has been in Australia for a long, long time as now. Uh, so yeah, it is a challenge playing in a high ping and still managing to get the frags. Extremely respectful, I must say. And now looking at the scoreboard, it is going to be 2-6, to six, the scoreline. And uh, Miao 16k leading the scoreboard, 14 Assyria, 9 kills. And the host king going for the 10k coming up. And another pause coming in. Uh, wait, I think uh, there is a little bit of issue coming in from... Wait, uh, someone has joined the VC, they are saying so. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm not sure what's really happening there and uh, it should be a call for unpause any second now because no one is there except for them now. Uh, so yeah, 2-6 to six still in the favor of Team HSE, however, uh, buy coming in, full buy coming in from HSE and Meow playing on Sheriff along with Casper and Muffin Loop. So we saw some crazy plays from Meow with the Sheriff and they managed to get that round as well, the eco round. So, it is going to be exciting to see what the Sheriff plays can bring to the table. 2-6, Techno Drone coming in. Sova is going to be owling middle. Is he going to spot anyone? A Sova Recon coming in to counter the Recon Drone as well. Does not spot Muffin Loop. Yes, he does. Now he heard the sound. Muffin Loop taking down Rose. A nice nade from Meow to cover her, cover her up. Going back safe. And now they have a man, man advantage as of now. Don't want to lose that up. Cash for peeking short. Just still playing very safe. But Techno. Going aggressive with Killjoy. Is he gonna catch Shreya off guard? Yes, I think he, I think he is. Killjoy is gonna be missing the turret. Uh, Nano Swarm. A uh, single bounce. Ooh, the shock that did not really connect that much. Yes, it did now. Raze is gonna be very, very low. And Shreya is also gonna be tagged down a lot. Down to 75 HP and 20 or 30 HP uh, for Raze. Muffin also down to 27 HP. They are trying to tap over the heads. Not really finding anyone. They are I've just playing faster. Yeah, going back again, don't want to get tagged by the cabbages, it is going to be dangerous if they do get tagged by the sky a Reload coming in, so what? Uh, droning close, not spotting anyone, they should be spamming close, right? Oh my god, that is extremely unlucky, Shreya is going to be spotting kills right though. And so uh, is going to go for the kill, confirms the kill, Shreya has, has a vandal now. Now it is up to Shreya to go aggressive again and again. On the other side, she is going to go for the ult. They have to wait, wait, just wait for them to go backside and keep pushing in. Meow, coming in with the ult. What is happening? Ace takes another 3k. Muffin Loop is left alone, detained. Sova is going to be detained. Last guy has to be backside, has to be detained as well. And another clutch round coming in from Team Assyria. Perfectly timed, perfectly peaked, perfectly peaked. And I must say, they use the peaks as distraction for them come out and oh, fire you, you fire at fire. them and get trapped uh, trapped in the kills are ult. that is 9000 iq indeed and really really nice play from Assyria coming in another eco round won by them three to six in the favor of hsc but Assyria not that far behind yep 
All I can say is all uh, Team Astria, they all they wanted to do was just restrict the members of Hotshot Esports inside the side so that they get trapped as soon as the uh, uh, Cleaser ult goes off. Muffin Loop was very low on HP so she did that job very really well. Just holding off that uh, angle, just making sure that Hotshot Esports get taken down after they get trapped on that and become immobilized uh, because of the uh, Killjoy ult. So that's what she did and she got the defuse and she got the round for her team and now it's gonna be a 3-6 in the still in the favor of Hotshot Esports. Hotshot no Esports looking a little bit shaky on their economy. You can see a bulldog by coming out from them and the oh. as well. But Rose King on her ult. On his ult, he already takes on Shrey and you can see an aggressive push coming out from the Hotshot oh, on the side of Hotshot Esports. They have the B site now. And uh, it's gonna are. be interesting to see from here. It's gonna, it's gonna be a 4v3 retake for Team Asteria. So we can see uh, an interesting angle hold by held by uh, Bitter over here. The switch. Maybe people oh, are no. not gonna spot her. Oh, it's no. gonna be Astra spotting her. Oh, and will get taken down. That's a bad timing for the ult to go off. Unfortunate. And we are going nice. for the double pick over there. And Muffin look with her. Uh, I mean, assisting her to take down Ro Rose King over oh, there. And you can see Ooh, back and forth. Oh played, my god. Team Astria stand tall because they have the man advantage. They had the man advantage in the mid round. So now they will go for the fourth round on the board. I think the timeout is really working out for them. They were like, uh, let's take a timeout, guys, and let's discuss what's happening. They uh, seem to pretty well know how Hotshot Esports play out now. You can uh, see uh, pretty much in that uh, that in their gameplay. And now Hotshot Esports, I think they will be forced for an eco now. And uh, Team Astria, they are ready for the comeback in this first half. Yes, yeah, Astria so is ready for the comeback in the first half. Uh, four to six is a scoreline. They can take it, take up to six to six. And since yesterday, every single match had a six to six scoreline, except for the last one, which was six by deployed cast his curse. Yeah, and uh, I called it, it a six, <laughs> six six, and it went on to be a five seven. Yeah, it went on to be five seven, and uh, it's all right uh, as long as they got the round and had a good time. So it is going to be Muffin going aggressive in vines. Ooh, Ace race with the sheriff peeking mid. Spotting no one as of now. Playing very passive. Techno. Britchy going for the drone. Spotting Killjoy's head. Is going to be tagging Killjoy. Rose King Spike is going to be taking down Muffin a. Loop. Back and forth trades coming in. I like that. That's a good play to make. And Rose King just missed Casper. Casper is going to be caught off guard. Is she? No, she's not. A quick play on the hands. And she has to do all the work for a side now. It's up to her to get, to get the spam going on. They already know one guy is there. Casper is in a very sticky situation. They are waiting for the push from Casper. They, she has to push. They, I don't think she knows the no. Now she is going to be going off. She has to be coming into close and to side. It's going to be spotted by Rose King. Spamming away. 13 HP. Casper. Yeah, she's going to be confirming the kill. Sky. A main. It's going to be taken down by the grenade coming in from Raze. A nice nade to finish up the round. Finishing in style, I would say. They are going to collect the weapons. They are, Yeah, that was a good round coming in. 5 to 6. And as I said before, it could potentially be six to six as well. This map is actually Last this match is actually really half. close. They're not really expected to be that close, but yeah, you guys are supporting them in insanely. All the support in chat I see is good. And uh, Rose King is going to be leading the scoreboard with twelve kills, following up with Ace Rays and Meow with thirteen. Muffin Loop on a close second eleven. And uh, as you can see, after the timeout, Team Astria, as we, they have been looking pretty strong. They know, I think they have, uh, uh, finally, they have an idea on what to do against Hotshot Esports. And it has been working out for them so far. And it's going to be a full buy round for both the teams in the last uh, round of this first half. And Britsy is going to shoot the shock that's probably not going to land anywhere. And uh, we can see Britsy saving that uh, recon round for some reason. She doesn't want to get that info. Okay, and we can see uh, Casper holding up this. A main site over here. She's gonna use her astral stars for her benefit. Oh, and uh, uh, for at the moment, I think it's gonna be pretty hard for outside esports to push a side. We can see Muffin Loop and Casper, they are playing on a cross. I and Mia is gonna be holding off that three area. You can see an A shot push coming in from the side of outside esports as well. And uh, it's gonna be hard for them to go on against this uh, astral stars. And astral, yeah, just like I said, down, she will mid. utilize the pull and she will take down. One and she will get T10 in the Killjoy ult even though it's gonna be a 5v3 in the advantage of as Team Asteria. But I don't think Team Orchard, oh, they oh, have any idea oh. that Casper is right here. And oh. uh, that was a brilliant play from Oh her. my god! What's <laughs> happening Casper? Okay, she gets oh my god. Uh, Okay, I don't know what to call that. If it's uh, Hotchard Esports uh, fault to not check the corners or it's go Casper just... She's, she just has a bigger brain or something to play that off. I would say uh, maybe Hotshot Esports, they weren't expecting her over there because it was an ult. Probably they were looking for the last guy who got uh, detected. They were looking for the A-shot position. 
uh, over the trees because you know nobody gets detained like that in a si in the side. They, some people get detained uh, under heaven, but no, nobody go <laughs> gets detained uh, near that green triple box. So it's uh, kind of like um, outplay, I would say. What do you think? Yeah. So uh, first of all, wh why wouldn't someone check side and check close angles? They were confident in the kills or ult, uh, but the thing is, Casper. With a 9 million IQ play, what was that? I, I am sure she expected him to come past him. That, that was why she was confident and not moving at all when he came close. Talking about that, Muffin Loop, what, what happened there? Already got one kill uh, off the bat, collecting up the Sheriff again. Uh, nice to see it's gonna be ha one kill coming in early round from Mysteria in the pistol round. And Casper, uh, I'm sure she is gonna clip this up. And uh, that was a really, really nice play. I couldn't help myself but scream. <laughs> And yep. another peak coming in from Shrey. Not gonna be connecting that. So Sheriff Muffin Loop has a sheriff. A strong sheriff coming in towards Muffin Loop, a really skilled player. And uh, it is gonna be Peter holding short. Pitsy on the other hand, going short aggressive. Meow tagging one, taking one down. And Muffin is also gonna fade it. Peter taking Bitsy as well. Back and forth, straights coming up, coming up. Uh, Killjoy. Both the Killjoy Killjoys are on like one HP left, and if the smoke goes off. It is going to be really sad timing for Meow. She's going to be playing Spike passive, holding. Spike oh no, she uh, she's stuck in a very sticky situation now. I don't think she will get past Sky. Holding the cross. Oh yeah, she has she has moved from the angle, so she is clear to go towards heaven. And it is going to be a backstab coming in. Thirty seconds for, uh, left. from Team uh, Assyria. Techno holding very passive, a long. They already know someone should be there. They are not risking the peaks. Twenty seconds on the clock. As to collect the spike and go for the plant as well. Casper going okay, going playing smart, not really peeking. Killjoy is gonna be trapped up. Oh, the shot is coming in. The plant is gonna be secured and a shot is gonna be missed though. Sky flash coming in. Wow, double tap from Mia. Mia going in insane. 3k coming in with last What? A 4k coming in Mia from Mia clutching up the round. 76. The pistol round is the most intense round of this game, I would say, because both the pistol rounds were right. absolutely legendary. We have seen a similar thing from Mia in the round of 64, if you remember. She was she literally got a 4k just like this one. And she got a nade kill for the fourth kill as well in the second half of the uh, match that they played in the round of 64, if you remember. So she's putting up a similar performance over here in the round of 32 as well. And after a timeout, Team Astria, they have been looking really strong and really good. And now they are on the lead for the first time in the game. And it's gonna be 7 6 in the favor of Team Astria. They're making their way towards B side. It's gonna be 5 man rush. And uh, Team Hotshot is good, reading that pretty well. Rain God will go for that backstab. Maybe let's see if we can get anyone. Muffin Loop over here with the flashes with the wall. And will almost get Take Bitter down. And yep. Oh, okay. Okay, finally they get uh, take they take down Bitter. And it's gonna be Casper taking down Rain God. And Mia will take down Bitter. And uh, Techno takes down Casper for a trade. Muffin Loop will take it. <laughs> Rose King, but will get taken down by Techno. Techno is gonna be very low and that shocked out from Bitsy will take down Techno as well. So, another round for the team of Astria. But I would say it was a good eco for the team Hotshot Esports because uh, it was an eco round for them. And as you can see, but uh, I wouldn't say it damaged uh, Team Astria's economy that much because they were pretty clever on going their buys. So now they have a decent buy to play off this bonus round as well. Yeah, so talking about the buys, it is going to be a good buy coming in. Uh, 8 to 6 in the favor of Team Assyria now. And Odin coming in, couldn't help but notice. Killjoy using the Odin. Bitter is going to be going for the Odin, peak in the defensive side. Really strong weapon of choice. A spam might be coming in. A pull might be coming in as well. The combo is deadly. They just have to bait the combo. Yeah. Oh my god, the combo is coming in. Killjoy spamming away, not connecting anything. Bitter is going to be... Caught in the open, not really. Techno is going to be trading out Muffin Loop. Meow with an 8. Nice raise use, utility usage on point. And now has to go in with the boom bot. First lane is going to be boom boarded as well. Oh, he's going to miss the boom bot though. It might, yeah, it's spotted CT. One guy on the same lane is going to be spotted and that is going to be Techno. Ooh, 5 man rush Take coming flight. in from Team Assyria. B main stack. Silver <laughs> drone battle. The anime battle coming in. Uh, Sova drone is going to be tagging Sova, I believe, and I think they are, it's going to be a call for Raja. Smoke coming in as well, Muffin. Muffin with the wall, uh, with the wall. and Tekno is farming through the wall, getting Britsy, and so is Britta going to be getting Casper. Tekno taking trades again and again, the trade system going on back and forth. Meow <laughs> taking the Odin. Uh, 2v2 situation, however, both the players and defenders uh, from uh, attacker side, Meow and Muffin, are going to be very, very low. 
it is almost next to impossible to clutch this one unless they play on the raw aim which they have you already saw meow and muffin have some insane aim one oh my god remaining. she did spot rain oh my god rose is gonna be taken down rain taking down meow as well muffin is all alone left on side 60 hp with full hp sky is gonna be whiffing the headshot a little bit of pressure situation i understand that could happen a good try though something assyria oh the t back coming in the bm coming in i like it this is what oh this is what competitive games is all about having fun and a little bit of bully to the enemy team as well <laughs> yeah actually he was teabagging his own teammate <laughs> oh yeah that was tech that was I guess, tech yeah. over there and um Unfortunately, that was a really nice try from the side of uh, Muffin Loop, but uh, she wouldn't. She, uh, I mean, she just falls just short of one kill to clutch the round for her team. But even though uh, they lost the round, it was a uh, bonus round for the side of a uh, team Assyria, and uh, they did a pretty good job in their bonus round. And as you can see, that has broken the economy of Hot Cherry Sports just like a little bit. And you can already see that the uh, Odin is gonna be in the hands of uh, Bitter. And we saw that Bitter was able to capitalize it uh, a little bit well in the previous round. And you can see Rain God is going to be falling back. It's going to be a full buy round for Team Astria. Don't forget that. And uh, T uh, Techno at the moment is going to be holding mid off. And uh, Mio Sissinki already takes on those things. And, but Techno will trade him out. But Techno is going to be very low on HP. He's probably going to go for that heal. Yes, and Sky will oh. heal him out. And uh, be, it's going to be interesting to see what happens from here. Casper making her way all, way all the way to A main. There's nobody holding A at the moment. If they decide to go for the side push, they might get the side for free. But they're going to wait it out. Which is going to make Rain God go for that flash and take the side back. And it's going to be Rain God holding the angle from heaven. And I don't think Rain God has any idea that Casper, uh, Casper has walk, walked back uh, all the way up to side. And Ace Cray is going to take down Muffin Loop in the side of A shot. And it's going to be Casper. Casper has a really nice sneak out, I would say. Techno will take down Shrey in the, while in the moment with his alt, with his uh, hunter, hunter's fury, as they would like to call it. And uh, Casper is gonna have a nice flank over here, and she's gonna hold, go for the trigger control, or maybe not. She's gonna take down Ace Grace with that headshot, and she has the heaven control at the moment, and it's gonna be a flash coming on from the side of Rain God. And but Casper will manage to take the win the fight and uh, it, she will pull, uh, make it uh, 2v2 at the moment for her team and uh, it's gonna be all up to Casper and Bitsy to clutch this round up and it's gonna be Techno and Bitter to make uh, sure they confirm the round for themselves to tie the score up to 8-8 and Bitter will get tagged out by this drone uh, that was uh, deployed from Bitsy it's gonna be a 1v2 in the favor of our uh, uh, team Astrid Casper on, already on a 3k uh, Bitter gets vulnerable at the moment. It's gonna be pretty hard for her to clutch from here because she has very less time. She, ha I mean, he has to make a move over here, and is gonna probably gonna spot Casper. Will not manage to get anyone. A brilliant play, I would say, from the side of Team Astria, putting them up at a lead of two rounds, and it's gonna be nine seven in the favor favor of Team Astria. Yeah, so guys, as we were talking about earlier, Assyria was lacking behind in the rounds in defendive, defending side. And as I was, if you remember, I was talking about uh, before the game, uh, in the Asian selection, I was talking about how uh, Assyria is a really aggressive team. They like to play aggressive. And all the players on this team has really crisp aim and raw skill. And I must say, they are using it in the attacking side and had a really good comeback in, time, in terms of scoreboard. 9-7 to seven in the favor of Assyria. They were down by four rounds early on, but now they are back again. Casper okay. going for the smokes. Meow clearing close angles. That judge is going to be a little bit problematic. I'm not sure what's going to happen there. Okay, Muffin is going aggressive. Nice alt usage coming in. Concealing. And I think... Oh my god! What? Aim hack? Wall hacks? What is, th what is that? Rose is going to be taking on Muffin loop. And um, she did catch two players on shot. A nice molly to cover it up. Techno down to 1 HP, is he gonna be taken down to, I, I think he is gonna, oh, Rose K, a clean Sheriff tap coming in, which is spots 1, Jasper for the backstab, he's gonna be taken down 2, it's not gonna be good for the third one, Rain God, a classic right click, a right click coming in, and uh, it is gonna be a 1v3 scenario, another right click coming in, not gonna take it, I thought they were, he was gonna get knifed, it's good to see they're not gonna play for the risky games, and now it is gonna be Stray, who's gonna be clutching it up. Uh, 10 to 7, Assyria leading the scoreboard as of now, and uh, a full buy coming in from both sides, along with an Odin coming again from Bitter. Yep, as you can see, Astria looking like they're pretty much strong over here, but as you can see, uh, 
Uh, this is anybody's game from here because it's just a three round lead and team hotshot is for they were on an eco in the previous round i would say they did a pretty good job for the, for an eco round and now they're going to be on their full band bitter yet again going for that odin play and uh, let's see if he can capitalize it and bring up the win for his team while team Assyria they're looking to go for a trim and push towards the a side while uh, Shrey and Casper, they're going to be lurking out in that B main area just to take off, cut off any flanks coming from the side of Hot Shot Esports. It's going to be an ult deployed from the side of Rain God. It's going to spot all the players at A main. And uh, it's going to be Mia walking up towards A main. She's, she's just worried that it, it, might, it could be an aggressive push that she's going to go for that showstopper. Can he get a kill? She's, she gets blind at the moment. It's going to be... Oh, doesn't manage to get anyone out and but will get the control of trees with the help of a showstopper. Even though she didn't manage to get the kill, but Bitter, she just missed to check that angle and Bitter will take down Mia 16k. It's gonna be a 5v3 in the favor of Hotshot Esports, I mean in the favor of Hotshot Esports, of course. Spike planted. But unfortunately, Hotshot Esports, that was a big fake on the side of Ati Masiria because they have went for the plat at B already and they have the whole side for themselves you at the moment. Run. And um, are they are playing a little bit clever uh, role over here because as you can see, they know that uh, as a, for, for a matter of fact, they have a Killjoy ult, the team side of Team Hotshot Esports. So they are waiting outside B main just to like deny them. There's gonna be two people playing out B main. One's gonna be Britzi, she's gonna be watching the backstab and it's gonna be Casper helping out her teammate by denying people who are trying to enter the side from here. It's gonna be pretty uh, crucial role played by Casper over here. But Rose King is gonna flash her and he smoke her off but Techno will take her off and it's gonna be Rose King for that final king and will take down Britzi and it's gonna be round number 8 for the side of Hot Shot Esports. It was a really good uh, fake I would say but I don't think it was uh, worth enough for uh, paying off uh, Mia for that fake because she had an ult with her. If she could have gone gone for that entry, which she actually did, which she, she was she managed to get the a shot control with it along with that trees control. But uh, obviously, I would say uh, that helped their team to go for that uh, plant, but couldn't really capitalize it at, at uh, it at the end of the day, and they will end up losing the round. But now it's a very interesting choice from the side of uh, Astria. It's gonna be three people going on that vandal by while. Uh, Casper and Shea, they're going to be on their sheriffs going for that save. Yeah, so 10 to 8 in the favor of Asteria. Oh no, the dog is going to get blocked off. A wall divide coming in so early. That's something you don't see very often. And now a stack of push coming in as well. Rose King going ahead and actually pushing up in defenders. Casper absolutely decimating Rose King, deleting him off the map. And Muffin Loop also taking down Ace. And now it is going to be oh, a self flash. NA flash coming in from Ring God is going to be blinding Casper again. Casper holding very passive. They have the info. It is a 5 versus 3. Still man advantage for Team Assyria. They haven't played very passive. Ooh, smoke's coming in for teammates. I like how, they, how where this is going. A smoke coming in. Double smoke's coming in to deny. Side rush. Techno with a nice. Oh no! Techno with the double kill. He's going to be taking a Meow and uh, Britsy. Uh, not Britsy actually, Meow and Muffin to be honest, so sorry for that. Britsy is going to be taken down as well. Bitter and Muffin fading up. Techno, however, Bitter is still alive. Muffin going for the ult and is going for one. Spamming away, not connecting any shots. She should be going on the side rather than going playing here. Something's going on. Uh, oh, she ulted in the same position. Left. I did not know that. That is a good good use of usage of the wall. He spots one behind her. And now it is going to be Bitter taken down by Casper. Very aggressive angle. Spots one in market, Casper has Spike to hold this planted. for her teammate. Muffin is going to be left alone. Yes, Casper is going to be capitalizing on the plant. Rain God, not really expecting her to be that close to the market stairs. It's going to be taken down. 11 to 8 in the favor of Assyria. Still, I mean, to be honest, Bitsy is not really that high on the scoreboard, but she is using the Sova. Sova actually really good. And Alt is also ready for the after plant, I believe. And uh, Jet Alt is also ready. So I believe they can play very aggressive as well in the even in the defensive side to surprise them. A five minutes rush would possibly get them the round. But talking about scoreboard, 21, 20, and 16, 15. Casper, Techno, leading scoreboard. I have the spike. Yep, as you can Pulling see, Casper, even though she's on a control role, you can see how she was positioning herself in the last round. She was on a sheriff and she could get that first pick off and she got two people in the, I mean, all the three kills that she got, she got uh, their, her opponent in a uh, weird angle, I would say. So positioning is really good. That uh, really 
shows of how experienced she is in this game and uh, you can see as at the moment team as we are looking strong with three rounds lead uh, so hot cherry squad they need to pull a comeback from here because the, it's gonna be a broken die for them if they lose this round it's gonna be really devastating for them nothing will take down rose king yeah will take down rain god it's gonna be a 5v3 in the favor of uh, team as we are techno will get pulled in that gravity well and Techno is gonna be holding off that uh, heaven position while his teammates come for his help and it's gonna be the net's not gonna connect, it's gonna fall back to side Meow is gonna be on low HP and she's gonna be holding that under heaven spot and Bitter is gonna check for that mid flank coming in that came remaining. in from Casper in the previous round but Casper is gonna be taking out Techno as well it's gonna be a 1v5 for uh, Bitter to clutch it up and <laughs> I, I don't think it's it. gonna be going for that clutch he's gonna oh. try his best and will fall down to brit c and with that it's gonna be a match point and a map point and a round of 32 match win point. point whatever you call that it's gonna be uh that point for team Asteria. while uh team hot is for they're gonna be going on their broken by for the for a try for a try on the comeback if they, they have to win this round because they don't have a choice at all from here if they lose a round uh they are they are out of the competition so they can't afford to lose the round they need to go for that four round win if they want a chance at that overtime yeah that is right there uh, that is right they have to make this work for them and a buy coming in however a broken buy coming in from defender side half shields would be very dangerous if someone managed to hit them a little bit too hard and now talking about the buy from the enemy team as well Assyria is going to be taking, wow, Meow is also already taking down Rose King. Uh, should not be going aggressive again and again. Meow has a really good game sensor and game lead of the game as of now. Knows always one guy pushes and Casper is going to be capitalizing on the push from Techno as well from the opposite side. Not letting them push market no middle or be very, very deadly combo. 3v5 already. Now it is next impossible unless they, yeah, they can still do it. It is down to a 3v3. Ringor is going to be taking down Casper and Ace is going to be taking down Muffin Loop. A very important frags, very important frags coming in oh, from both yeah, uh, from HSE. And now they have to make this work or it is going to be game over for them. This is the do or die round for them. Ace Rays is going to be going back. Peter has given the call for the B plant. He should be waiting for his teammates to come in rather than just going alone. Placing the, placing the turret just in case anyone's playing aggressive is a good choice. It's not spot. Meow. Meow is going to be satcheling away. A good decision has been for two players. They just have to play passive now. A kill for a turret holding B main. No one's gonna be coming B main. They have the info. All the info in the world that they need. Ace is gonna be tagged down to 70 HP. Vulnerable is gonna be trapped from every single place. I think this is GG for them. It is gonna be a GG for them. Team Asteria is gonna be clutching up with a 13 8 scoreline. Meow 16k with an awesome 25 scoreboard kills and. I must say, I'm really impressed by Team Assyria as of now. They did extreme, extreme uh, shots and they hit some really, really nutty flicks as well. Mia 16k with the Sheriff, we all saw that. Um, that was a really diff round. And uh, GGWP indeed. What do you think about the game that just happened? Yeah, I would say in the... I mean, uh, Team Astria, you can see the amount of manpower and the utility they are using it in an other side that they are not interested in pushing just to fake out the side. Like, that's insane. They sent Muffin Loop. Uh, they sent, they used all the utilities from the side of Britsy on there. And uh, just just to make sure that uh, they are selling out their fake push, right? So, Team Hotside Spoon, they have no other choice because there's already a guy inside the side. So, they are supposed to go for the retake. They are trying to go for the retake. They get those two people off. Uh, they are pretty confident that they, they, are, they have held them back. Suddenly, they, they go, they go, I mean, Team Astria, they go for that B plan suddenly, and it's gonna be all uh, hell and loose because uh, Blitzy was still alive along that A main side. She walked up to A shot and she went for an amazing backstab and she got that last round confirmed for themselves. This is not the first time we saw them doing this. We saw we saw a similar setup coming on in a previous round uh, in the same game, but unfortunately, it didn't work out for them really well because it was a 3v5 situation, which was uh, really unfair for them at this moment. and. Uh, Right now, if you look at that game, it was a 4v4 and also Britsy was uh, pu positioning herself in a really good position to help a team to go and uh, get that win. And uh, as of talking of first players and talking of uh, the duelist play, Miao 16k and Muffin Loop, they're st uh, standing out as duelists. But don't forget Casper. Casper be playing on that controller low, e even though she has to be that... Uh, defensive kind of a player that which she has been doing she didn't go too much aggressive but still she so her positioning was really good that she could get those uh crucial kills for her team and uh put her uh team uh, across that uh, victory mark and as you can see the 
uh, timeout that came from the side of Team Astria mid game. It really helped them really well. And after that, they've been just going and going, and uh, they were looking pretty unstoppable. Hot Shady Sport, they did their real best. They were looking dominating in the first uh, few parts of the half. And after that, they've been they gave their best fight, but. Uh, as you can see, Team Astria, they stood out to be the better ones and they win the round and they move to round of 16. Yeah, so talking about the scoreboard and everything, 13 to 8, a really good scoreboard to clutch up. And I must say, uh, a lot of you guys are really happy in the chat. I am uh, seeing what's happening in the chat. It is exciting to see all the support coming in from the fans of Team Astria as well. Uh, everyone played really good. HSE really, really dominated in the first half, but Asteria absolutely denied them in the second half. Uh, as, I said, as I said earlier, they are really aggressive players, and uh, that is what worked for them best. Attacker side, they absolutely decimated them, did not give them a chance. Uh, over aggression coming in from Rain God also got them a lot of rounds to be lost. Uh, however, well played, and congratulations to Team Asteria for moving on to the round of 16. Very excited to see what's going to happen in the upcoming rounds. And uh, by the way, we have an, uh, more matches planned up today. So don't go anywhere. Once again, congratulations to Team Assyria. Yep. And, yeah. uh, and we, uh, have, uh, we have three more matches up, um, uh, up against, uh, I mean, up against the players that they're going to be playing up against each other. So the next match is going to be Team Bilixum versus Team Glitz. So don't go anywhere. We're going to be, the players are ready. They're literally in the lobby and ready. So we're going to be hosting that match for you in any moment. So don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be right back in less than two minutes all we have to do is go and join the lobby and we're going to start the matchup so don't go anywhere we're going to be back and it's me deployed and it's me uh it's uh watching a biz with me so we'll see you guys after like a couple of minutes just don't go anywhere yeah yeah <laughs> md jpb it's only right baby yeah why you mad i got a bad bro Name hot in these streets, no Tabasco. Uh -huh. But I'm so stuck, that's a fact, yo. Yeah. And if you think I'm running, you can run it back, yo. Go on, run it back. You know that I run it. Yep. Everything you wanna do, I already done it. Uh -huh. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one, that one. Damn, it's gonna be a long night. Yeah. You know. I said, uh, I said, damn, it's gonna be a long night. Shorty drop it for a real one. Yeah. Go ahead and pop it, let me feel some. Let me feel some. Do it for the boy with a bag yeah. now. Movie star money making everybody act out. Hey. I don't lie to these women. If I want them, then I tell them. Don't yeah. get fly for these women. I was born with these propellers. All my haters cannot be me, so I call them my capellas. Hey. See, I'm only getting better. You only get jealous. You know that I run it. I run it. Everything you want to do, I already done it. Hey. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one. Damn, it's gonna be a long night, 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 night. You know, I had this one, that one. Damn, it's gonna be a long night. Yeah. MD. JP Big. You already know, baby. Yeah. Do it 
it for the boy with a bag now. Movie star money making everybody act out. I don't lie to these women. If I want them, then I tell them. Don't get fly for these women. I was born with these propellers. All my haters cannot be me, so I call them my capellas. See, I'm only getting better. You only get jealous. You know that I run it. Everything you want to do, I already done it. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one, that one. Damn, it's going to be a long night, 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 night.
Yeah. <laughs> MD. JPB. It's only right, baby. Yeah. Why you mad? I got a bad bro. Name hot in these streets, no Tabasco. But I'm so stuck, that's a fact, yo. And if you think I'm running, you can run it back, yo. Go on, run it back. You know that I run it. Everything you wanna do, I already done it. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one, that one. Damn, it's gonna be a long night. Yeah. You know. I said, uh, I said, damn, it's gonna be a long night. Shorty drop it for a real one. Yeah. Go ahead and pop it, let me feel some. Let me feel some. Do it for the boy with a bag yeah. now. Movie star money making everybody act out. Hey. I don't lie to these women. If I want them, then I tell them. Yeah. Don't get fly for these women. I was born with these propellers. All my haters cannot beat me, so I call them my capellas. Hey. See, I'm only getting better. You only get jealous. You know that I run it. I run it. Everything you want to do, I already done it. Hey. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one. Damn, it's gonna be a long night, 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 night. You know? I got this one, that one. Damn, it's gonna be a long night. Yeah. MD. JP Big. You already know, baby. Yeah. Everything you wanna do, I already done it. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one, that one. Damn, it's gonna be a long night. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Yoda Community Cup Season 2 and the sponsors are going to be Exit Lag, Panda Electronics, Max Britannia and Saha Gamers who is also the owner of Yoda Esports. So we are ready with the match number 2 of round of 32 of and day 1. So it's going to be Willixam Esports again, Blit Esports is going to be a very interesting match to watch. Both the teams have been uh, pretty good in their round of 64 matches. We unfortunately didn't get to see that because it was off. It was an off stream match and now they're going to be uh, playing uh, against each other in this uh, on stream match with me deployed and watching Abyss with me. We are going to be the casters for that match and the players are already ready and we are ready to start the match any, more ahead, any moment from here up ahead and we are waiting for the confirmation from... The admin, so what do you think, uh, watching Abyss, how is this match going to be? Yeah, so this match seems to be really good as of now because both the teams have been practicing together for quite some time, I've got to know. And uh, talking about the game, this should be interesting to see because if not, it won't be that fun to watch and cast as well. I hope you guys will have a great time. I hope we will have a great time as well. And I hope, really hope both the teams are fully capable of playing right now. No, no power cuts and nothing. I really hope that because that is something that ruins the experience. Uh, and I think we are ready to uh, go. And the first, the map is going to be Ascent, by the way. VLX is gonna, are going to be on Defenders and Blitz are going to be on the Attackers. We will jump right into the Agent Select right now. And yep. And uh, as you can, you will see the screen in a moment. And uh, there you go. It's going to be the Agent Select, as you guys can see. It's going to be... Uh... Defenders, uh, Willixum Esports are going to be defending while Blitz Esports, they're going to be attacking. They're already going for the double duelist pickups from the side of uh, Blitz. And uh, at the moment, uh, it looks like a single duelist setup for the side of Willixum Esports. You can see that Astra pickup coming on from Willixum Esports, which is really effective in this map of Ascent, we, as we have seen in the past. Even in the last game, uh, Casper played a really good role on playing that controller. We can see a double duelist pick. I'll almost, I think it's going to be a mirror lineup from both the teams. Yep, it is going to be in the exact same lineup from both the teams. So it's go all about how the team plays out because it's uh, nothing uh, called uh, 
uh, player advantage or agent advantage that's going to be that uh, we will get to see in this game because both the teams they have literally the same uh, lineup and it's going to be interesting to watch how they play out and uh, as you can see both the teams they have played really well in their round one in the round of 62 they have a cha they have got the chance to play out in this round of 32 match and if they the team that wins this round will move up to uh, round of 16 that's going to be the pre quarter final so hope uh, the better team wins and uh, which I'm uh, deployed and with me it's going to be watching Abyss and we're going to be casting this match for you guys so if you guys like this uh, stream go ahead and like the stream and uh, go and subscribe to Yoda's channel you can go ahead and follow our socials as well the caster social that's going to be on the description as well and uh, if you guys want to take part in tournaments like this in the future as well you can go ahead and join the discord channel of Yoda Esports the uh, link to that will be given in the description as well so let's go in to round number one it's gonna be Bilixam esports on defense and it's gonna be uh blit esports on the attack and we can see r is already getting ready with a cool lineup i think for the b main so Feeling let's see where that lands and it's gonna go all the way and it's gonna hit the turret that's gonna be placed on the b main spot it's not gonna spot anyone for the moment but it's gonna land on the turret so as a matter of fact they know that there's gonna be someone outside that they are all they will also get the sound cues for the turret so it looks like a slower approach towards the A side from the side of Blit Esports. It's going to be Slumdog in Flipway. Slumdog is going to be already uh, on very low HP. That's going to be a bad smoke coming up from the side of the Asuka. But I think... Uh, oh my god. Uh, Slumdog Spike is an amazing pick to the side of uh, uh, the Soa of Blit Esports. Levick will get taken down. It's going to be 5v3 in the favor of uh, Blixam Esports. While the Killjoy of Team Blit is going to be very low on HP. That's going to be Bookie playing on that Killjoy role. And it's going to be Walnut is going to be playing that Jet for Blit. Looking to get some cracks Spike onto that heaven it. spot just to keep his uh, team on an equally paced match and it's the blitz. Data is going to be very successful. A back and forth trade is going to be a 2v2. Blitz oh, flick goes for that nice walkover and will get that enemy. Standing. And Buki will manage to take out Blitz some uh, flick to ace. Oh, that was a really nice timing from the uh, from Buki and will uh, be very successful in taking out Asom Atom as well. And that will be 3k for the killjoy of side blitz esports and uh, that will win them the first round of the game. It's going to be a buy round from the side of Blit. It's going to be an eco round from the side of Bilixum if everything uh, is going normal. Yeah, so early round, a little bit of problem going on. I think if Phoenix was not that low, he would have possibly gotten more frags. But uh, the double peak coming in with Killjoy was actually really nice to see. He got two frags by Killjoy and one frag by uh, uh, Phoenix. So, and Arish also got a frag, which is good to see because it's not really that common in Afrotan situation to... Uh, get frags like that when you enter a site, you can't really be soloing. And BLT Bookie is going to be spamming away. Slum Dog is going to take down. Uh, the right click did not connect. And it is going to be Blit. Walnut is going to be going in aggressive. Stator, not going to spot anyone. Bookie is going to be taking down Arish as well. A nice diagonal wall coming in. Uh, Walnut is still holding very strong. It should not be holding now because Bl Buzz is already there. It should be changing the angles any second now. They have a really One good uh, hold remaining. of the game as of now. The second round is going to be going towards their name. I'm 99% sure. Unless the 1% miracle happens. That happens, but not that often. So, Sakuna has to make it happen. Sakuna 420. Wink, wink. Uh, so, it is Sakuna with the Spectre. Uh, so far, he is going aggressive in A main. Does not really know. No one is in wines. Has to play. Oh, the free fire coming in. They're still going to connect. Walnut is going to be taking down Sakuna. And now, it is going to be a 0 2 in the favor of Team Blit. Yep, and this round it's gonna be very crucial for the side of Blixum because the previous round it was an eco round for them So it's ob obviously all right for them to lose that round and but still they managed to get one pick uh, Which didn't really damage the economy of uh, Blade Esports that much So now they're gonna be playing on that bonus round Blade Esports So it shouldn't be a problem for Blixum Esports to take the round out They will try to take the round out with the most number of bodies that they can save for the round If they end up losing the in this round they'll be in a big trouble so they wouldn't want that to happen So let's see what uh, VLX can pull up uh, here in this buy round for them while Blitz Esports they're gonna be on their bonus round so it's gonna be a very very fast push from the side of Blitz Esports towards the A shot area and Buster Bus Buster Bus Buster is gonna be using his molly to hold up that angle from Slumdog he's going oh. on to the molly an amazing molly from there will deny Slumdoggy who's having a flash in his hand unfortunately will not get to use that flash so maybe he's gonna be able to save that flash for the next round, I guess. Then uh, it's gonna be a 5v4 still in the favor of Blitz Esports. But the gun, gun advantage is totally on the side of Blixum Esports. They are not expecting Walmart over the heaven. Will get in head thing, but will get taken down. And it's gonna be Hatam as well, taking Zeta down. And it's gonna be a 4v3 in the favor of uh, uh, 
it's in the favor of Bilixam Esports and you can see Atom going for the more, for going for more kills it's gonna be a 4v2 one Mookie one coming for the back step and will get taken down even though Bilixam Esports get the round it's gonna be the first round for them on the board but I would say uh, Hotshot Esports did a pre I mean uh, not Hotshot my apologies Blit Esports they did a pretty good job in conforming I mean getting three picks off because saying that uh, it was a bonus round for them as you can see that affected the economy of vlx really bad now they're going to be going on that double specter buy or maybe one single ah uh, yeah double specter buy with atom going on for that blade storm yeah so talking about that it is going to be a good buy but uh, nonetheless the atom could uh, could potentially get a lot of kills he has the potential as of now four kills on the scoreboard following up by flick to ace uh, that name seems to be a little bit similar, but all right. Uh, Bookie on the seven kills coming in. Arish going for a recon lineup. Not sure where this is gonna land. I need to see where this is gonna land, but I guess we won't. Uh, Adam is gonna be taken down a little too aggressive by Slum Doggy and Atom. The gun wielding players are down. The immortal buddy, though, really nice. Uh, Arish is gonna be spamming away to the smoke, not connecting one or single shot. And uh, it is going to be Levick going towards the side, hinting for the plant. Bookie, on the other hand, going for the mid sneak. If he spams right now, oh no. <laughs> the more he fails, he's going to come in. The flick is not really going to connect. Wallen is going to be taken down. Buzz is going to be taken down. Flicks to a flick to ace as well. It is all up to Arish to clutch this up. A 1v4 scenario. Bookie extremely close to him. Just holding the smoke. I think he knows. He is going to be waiting. Spot is over. Taking Arash down, a clean headshot to finish up the round. 1-3 to three in the favor of Team Blit. Uh, Team Blit is playing extremely good as of now. Yeah. Really good. And uh, they will confirm the round for themselves. And I think uh, Walnut Mine will go... Oh, no, man. His teammate drops, drops for him. And that's going to be a fullback coming from the side of Blit. While Team BL, like they're going for that eco round. You can see Adam on that Sheriff. Arish and Sakuna on that Sheriff. And you can see Slumdog going for that Marshall by... Uh, being a phoenix and going for that martial buy, it must be interesting, it must be uh, really good with that martial, let's see how we can uh, play that martial role, but it isn't gonna spot out anyone for the moment because nobody's gonna be peeking from there, and you can see Bl uh, Bus Buster and uh, so are they gonna be pushing towards the B-Man, the duo that's gonna be pushing, trying to take out pick to ace, that's gonna be two people over there, I don't think they're gonna notice that, Sakuna hiding his angle, but Levick, oh unfortunate, that was a really unfortunate situation, but you can see Atom getting a pick over there, but will get traded off, you can see it's gonna be a 1v4 in the favor of uh, Blade East. It's gonna be a slum dog all alone with that martial on the towards CT area. Will get taken down. It will not gonna be good for getting any kills. So it's gonna be uh, a 3k for the side of Bus uh, Buster. And it's gonna be 4-1 on the scoreboard for uh, Blitz. And uh, obviously it was an equal round for the side of uh, Bilixum. So they would want to win this round. They wouldn't want to lose this round. If they lose this, it's gonna be really hard for them in terms of the economy. So. They would like to seal this round off and Blit will, would look to uh, get, make the lead gap uh, even more bigger. So let's see what happens here. Yeah, so they are playing really good so far now. Uh, the rushes coming in are quite strong to be honest and uh, the defenders are not able to hold. Uh, that is something they should be looking on to rather than just rushing into the side, into mains blinded. They should be waiting and holding for the info. One of the players should be the info seeking guy and the four players should be on the hold. Jump's very aggressive over. and very fast as well. Revealing A area. nice lineup coming in towards three is gonna be reconning. Flick to ace is gonna be in CT. Cutting off buzz. And it is a three-man sack towards A for the you attackers. Oh, Walnut already going aggressive. Atom, what was that peak? A nice clean jiggle peak from Atom. Connects the head connects the shot. Not a headshot. Holding the smoke for any pushes. The pushes are about to come in. He's going to back off. No, no, he's not. He's going to get detained. Still very safe. And Slum Doggy going aggressive for the peak with a flash. Taking the one. Farming away does not really connect the second one. And Arish is going to be there. Arish is going to be there to trade up. Bill Zeta is going to be taken down. Now Buzz all alone in sight. And the Phoenix. Still a long way to go. Atom is going to be denying Phoenix. Any. Atom. Atom, I don't know what happened. What's happening? Uh, he is a really good operator player, as we can see right now. And uh, having an operator in his hand is the right choice by the defenders. The second round put on the scoreboard by Atom and the team HSC. I mean uh, VLX, sorry. Yep. You can see uh, Atom going for the diamond buddy that he has got from his act. Uh, I mean episode one. Uh, I think he's using that because it goes well with that uh, battle pass. Uh, 
skin for the top operator. Uh, that's a really good thing because it's uh, really uh, interesting to see because he is already an immortal in this act and uh, and the previous act as well as we got the info from our admins and you can see an early pick from the side of atom will get spotted out by the drone but it is a bait because slum doggy is going to be holding that uh vines position but jet is going to be checking that any moment soon and will take down slum doggy anyway so the pick it's not going to sell out that well for the side of willixum it's going atom is going to be in a very Offward push in and will get taken down by the Phoenix. And it's gonna be up to Arish, Flick to Ace, and Sakuna to clutch this round up for the team. It's gonna be 3v5 in the favor of uh, Blade Esports. And Arish is gonna be holding that uh, angle just to make sure nobody pushes from uh, pushes seven from the side of uh, uh, Trees. He's gonna be holding that. I uh, I think he knows th that that's gonna be a guy, but that that's a smoke kill from the side of Zeta. He's gonna take out Sakuna over there, and it's gonna be a 5v2 now. Looking really unfortunate for the side of Blitzum. He's gonna. Ooh, no, no, no. and Ari is going for the random spray to the wall, uh, to the floor to get the guy uh, in under heaven and it's gonna be Walnut who's gonna get tagged out oh never mind it's, he didn't get tagged out I think it's a game bug and uh, oh, Walnut going for the random sprays and everybody going for the random spray and bus, Buster he's gonna walk his way from market uh, from trees towards the heaven and we'll get the get the last kill and we'll confirm that round for them it's gonna be a 5-2 lead in the favor of uh, Blit Esports and you can as you can see Atom has been playing really uh, good for his team at the moment he's, uh, he's on 8 kills Bl uh, for Blit it's gonna be Buki who's the sentinel who's gonna be the top fagger which is kind of weird uh, but he's been the battle killjoy for his team yeah so talking about scoreboard it, it has been pretty even so far except for the last uh, bottom faggers but they are playing their roles and they're holding for the back steps. that's why they're not getting that many kills understandable and uh, the split is going to come in. Uh, watch this coming in from Jet as well. Uh, the defenders are going to be playing very, very passive. Jet playing middle is not the strongest option in my opinion. And is going to be distracted by B-Main. Here's one. Spots one. Jet Jet versus Jet. Could be really good to see. And Phoenix is going to be taking now a nice right click to the, to the body. And now it's a Jet death scenario. Is he going to be a Jet death scenario? Or is it going to be a 1-1? One, one Oh no, two players, two versus one. It's gonna be taken down again. A oh. right click coming in. Korean Jet. Oh, Korean Jet alert? I guess not. And oh my god, he oh. is gonna be missing the nice though. It could have been a really cool clip, but nonetheless, very important. Three frags and Spike a two, three v two, three v one scenario. Hiding, <laughs> hiding very close. Sub Rosa is gonna be hiding very close. Does not get tagged by the chalk dart. However, flick to ace is not gonna be missing his shots. And now it is going to be a 3v5, the third round put up by VLX. This name is really off-putting to be honest. VLX flick to ace. Yes. <laughs> we know I, I feel like, I feel like, right yeah, I ace. think in the back of my head, there might be a player like that. I don't know, oh, yeah. maybe I'm just wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, he is playing really good so far. Killjoy's, both the team Killjoy is playing really good. Atom on 11, 11 kills, 7 kills followed by flick to ace. Bookie on 10 and Buzz on the 8. Yep, as you can see now it's gonna be any man's game from here because that round was an amazing round from the side of Blixum. They looked really dominant over there. So let's see if they can keep the domination going ahead because they are down by two rounds. And uh, they are not looking very strong in terms of the economy as well. So they need to win more rounds on the board. And they need to put more rounds on the board to put uh, Blitty Sports on a pressure in terms of economy and in terms of rounds as well. As you can see it's gonna be a very aggressive push from the side of Blitty Sports which will be punished by Arish and Atom holding uh, holding that angle very well, really well and it's gonna be 5v3 suddenly looking in the favor of Willixam Esports. They are looking strong on this round and it's gonna be a spray missed from the side of Arish and it's gonna be uh, the CT take from the side of Levik and the Astro. So Sakuna takes off one and Blit uh, Levik will be there to trade him off. But Atom in. takes off Levik. It's gonna be a double kill for Atom. Atom will get traded out by Buki. Uh, so it's gonna be all up to uh, Buki to clutch this up uh, in a 1v3. So it's gonna be pretty hard because both of them are know his location. They are looking at him with the shock that's gonna connect. But Last still Buki managed standing. to get two. It's gonna be fatal. Both on low HP, both I would say Irish can only tank one bullet but I think uh, with the HP book he has I think he can tank two bullets because the damage the Vandal that uh, gives since both the players are Vandal left. It's gonna be 40 HP, it doesn't matter the distance so I think Buki has a little bit of an upper hand because he can tank two bullets there So let's see what he can do, he has an alarm bot with him And uh, Irish has an ult Spike And now he knows that it's gonna be an A plant and that's gonna be that alarm bot placement, it's gonna be the turret placement the turret is gonna be really fatal over here because I think he's gonna peek with the turret having said that the type of setup that he has done 
He might peek with that uh, setup. Let's see. Ari has a recon. He's gonna use that recon any moment soon, and there goes the recon. It's uh, probably not gonna spot anyone, unfortunately. So now, oh my God! Now Ari is very low. Just like I said, the turret is gonna play a very vital role. It's gonna be hard for Ari, and that is an off angle from the side of Bookie. He's gonna clutch that one v two, one v three, just like uh, it was nothing for him. Even though he got tagged by that uh, shock dart and everything, a low HP clutch, a nice positioning clutch from the side of Bookie, and that's gonna put another round on the board for the side of Blit. You can see the killjoy popping off for the side of Blit Esports because you can see the battle killjoy performance from the side of Bookie with 14 kills already. Atom being the best duelist in the whole uh, lobby, still with just with 13 kills. Yes, talking about Killjoy, Buki. He managed to get a 4k last round if I'm not wrong. And, yep. uh, and it was he is going aggressive. Yeah, it was 1v3. He is going aggressive, not really playing hiding and not really camping any spots. He is going aggressive for the peaks. Again, he's going to be not, not going to be capitalizing on the peak from there. He's going to be tagging away a little bit. Taking down. You're a dead. little bit is going to be taken down. And the slum doggy is falling down to the hands of Walnut Mine. Buki going aggressive again. Oh. Taking two. What is wrong with Buki? Where is Buki? Buki is still in middle. I don't understand what's happening. How are they falling into his crosshairs? And a B main, uh, B main push is going to be denied by Buki as well. Now uh, he has to do a lot of work. He is doing a lot of work for his team. He's going enemy aggressive remaining. middle. Walnut is going to be finishing off six to ways. The last player is going to be heaven as well. Sakuna walking right into the crosshairs of Walnut. Again, punished once again. 3 to 7 in the favor of Team Blit. Blit is just phenomenal right now. Buki, hats off to you for playing so aggressive and getting the kills. Yeah, as you can see, Blit is supposed they've already got to the mark of 7 rounds. So, which means we're not going to be 6-6 uh, uh, this time around. But as you can see, uh, Blit Esports, they have been playing really well. I would say even though the all the whole of the team played really well in the last round, going and uh, getting that plan, playing that post plan really well, I would say it was all up to Buki because he denied that two crucial push from one from the mid and one from B main. So uh, kudos to him, which would help his teammate win. The post buy, I mean, the full buy is going to be coming from both the sides except for Slumber Doggy, who's going to be on that half shield. It's, it looks like an aggressive push yet again towards the A side. That's going to be Soa. Trying to spot out anyone at the uh, flick to ace has a sneaky angle over at the heaven. Maybe he's not gonna be spotted. He's gonna be playing a very vital role in this round. And flick to ace, he will take down Walnut with his uh, swam grenade. That was really a nice assist coming from the side of Atom as well. Holding the push from the side of uh, Walnut will take him down with the help of the swam grenades. Atom still going for that mid peak. He's gonna be holding that tiles up and will get taken out. Will be punished for that aggressive push from the side of Atom. And uh, it's gonna be a 4v4 uh, in nobody's favor. Looks like a B push, but Slumdoggy will deny it. And already you can see Phoenix has made his way all, all up to heaven. But it's not gonna spot Willix and Flick to A. So Flick to A, sh it shouldn't be a really hard job for him to take him down. And uh, he's gonna whiff his shots on Livik. Well, Livik will take down Flick to A. It's gonna be a 2v3 in the favor of uh, Willix and Esports at the moment. And uh, Sakuna has the ult here. In case if something goes wrong, he can use that ult to go for that retake. And you can see Zeta and Levi going nice for that A push. Uh, now they need to get the plan down, they are waiting for the plan down, the rotation is going to come in left. and uh, you can see he is going to try to deny the plan, uh, but the plan is not going to go there, but anyways, the plan uh, deny is going to, the pl denial is going to come in because of the ult from the side of Aris. Uh, even though they could slow it a little bit, the plan goes off anyway, like we can an off angle position, Slum Doggy's ult will pull people out and now they know the location of One both the people. Remaining. Aris will take down Levik and it's gonna be... Ooh... Zeter almost got two kills over there but uh, Slim Doggy will be successful in getting trading his teammate out and it's gonna be the fourth round on the board for uh, Team Willixon. I would say even though uh, Blade Esports they have been in a very big lead, if it wasn't for Buki's nice plays you can see uh, as soon as like uh, Buki dies early or is doesn't manage to get the picks, uh, their team, uh, they're struggling to get the Last side control. Even though the their duelists are doing a really amazing job, uh, Buki is just standing out for his team. You can see it's a neck-to-neck -neck, uh, battle from both the teams at the moment. Even though the there's a three-round lead, I would say it's pretty close. And having said that, this is the last round of the first half. We might see a 5-7 from here. If we get to see a 5-7, it's going to be interesting. Because Team Willixam, they also have the double duelist setup. It's going to be interesting to see how they play up in the second half. Yeah, so Atom going for the Operator now. Uh, possibly a good choice because he is getting the kills. And holding B main. Not really spotting anyone. Still holding very strong. A Phoenix going mid link. And a Levick is going to be spotting one. Did, did he tag him? I'm not sure he tagged him or not. No, I don't think he Placing tagged him. A Killjoy Swarm Grenade coming in towards the side. Plant you area. And now a nice Killjoy ult coming in as well from the attackers. 
That is gonna be a fake, probably. No! The counter ult is gonna come in as well. That was a fake. However, they did manage to bait out both the ults. I, I mean, even Steven so far, no one is gonna get detained. So that is alright, to be honest. And now, a push towards mid can be seen. Jet going aggressive for the for the tree control. Uh, he's gonna be facing Phoenix any second now. Depends who's gonna peek first. And I think Phoenix is gonna get the better of Jet. Unless the smoke is gonna come in, a nice volley to clutch up. And Phoenix is gonna be taken down by Slum. Oh my god, Phoenix is gonna be taken down by Jet. What? Oh, why? Down A. <laughs> what Wallet is could not here? really find the head through the box. Is gonna get taken down again. The trade's going crazy. Absolute chaos on the side. Phoenix has a spike in hand. Bookie still aggressive on left. site. Has to hold the side for Phoenix to plant. A plant coming in. Bookie holding very strong. Tagging a little bit. Phoenix going for the flash. It's gonna be. The right thing is gonna miss. A divide coming in. And now it's up to Killjoy and Phoenix to clutch this one. Stock that coming in as well. Killjoy still holding very strong. A spray. Spray transfer control did not really work out in his favor. The spray could not be connected by the Vandal. Really, really unlucky situation, but extremely nice try from Bookie. To be honest, he did manage to hold on very long, and uh, Phoenix did get the plan down. A Switching good support side. player and a good acting like a duelist. To be honest, a good yep. support player acting like a duelist, a very deadly combo. And now it is going to be the side change, and the first round from the pistols is going to come in. And uh, as you can see in the previous round, uh, Vilix and Mispo really played that retake really well because they know that they had the man advantage. They let Atom go in first just to check where their positions were because Atom didn't just had an operator in his hand. So he, he went in for that early push trying to get a kill. And uh, even though he couldn't get the kill, he spotted both the enemies and their location. And after that, it was basically after getting that one kill, they know it's gonna be a 2v1. So all they had to do was like get that kill. So even though since it was also the last round, so Irish went in for the jump bait which helps Sakuna to secure the kill for their team. And it's gonna be 5 7. Still in the favor of Blitz Esports, but I would say it's a pretty neck to neck game. Depending on who wins this uh, pistol round. Yeah, talking about the pistol Ooh. round, it is gonna be a spam situation going on. Jet very low, however, a slum dog is also gonna be low. 70 HP. Jet 22 HP. That they have no healer on the team. That is gonna be sad to see. And now Astral Stars coming in. Jet is gonna be hiding behind the boxes. Zeta going for the mid control, not sparring anyone as of now. Levick going slowly back and Slumdog is also going to be uh, retreating. They're going to be regrouping and advancing to another point which is going to be B or middle. A really nice regroup towards middle. They have Go the spike. middle control. The spike is going to be taken by Slumdog. Grounded. And Adam being the better jet is going to be taking down Walnut with the Sheriff. Now they have to go in very fast and clean. They have to make it clean, otherwise it is going to be problematic. Two guys already on side. He's going to get tagged through the smoke. It's spammed away. Adam does not what? spot one. Zeta is what? going to be taking down two. The second shot was absolute pure luck. Slum Doggy is going to be taking down Zeta though. And it is a 3v2 scenario. Levick holding the A push. There is no one A. Levick did not really get the call. He's going towards A again. Levick going one back towards B remaining. now. Finally got to know. It is a 1v3 situation. Arish is going to get unlucky with the timing. Collecting the ghost and he has clutched this 1v2 scenario. Still in the favor of team uh, Blit. 7 to 5 overall. And a kills your turret coming in. As to... Ooh, the shock dart. Not going to connect. Spamming away. The, the turret is going to break away. Oh. Flick to ways. Giving him all the opportunity in the world. A nice recon is going to be spotting him yeah, off. And... He has the last player's info. He is playing so time. Slum dog. He has to do it. The time play is going to come in. He is jiggling again and again. And then he won the round for his teammates. Yep. VLX are going to be winning this round. Six to seven. Good try from Levick though. He should have uh, rotated a little bit earlier. He was checking a heaven for some reason again and again. Yeah, but I now think they is... didn't have enough info then. Yeah, they didn't have enough info, but the plan was going down. So that was a little bit unfortunate for them. Yep. Uh, just like Abby said, uh, we could see that uh, Levick was holding off that A angle because they were not sure that someone was going for their backstab. And they were pretty much uh, right with their guess because Aris was indeed going for that backstab. But uh, he was not coming from the side of A. Instead, he went for that mid push. He managed to take out that Killjoy, help his teammates to get out, take out Killjoy, but will not throw out Levick. And Levick, I would say, uh, it was a really, uh, it was a 1v1 situation, even though Slumdoggy couldn't get that uh, kill done. He played really well to confirm the round for his team. And it's going to be an eco round from the side of Blit now. Because uh, they lost the first pistol down. So they're going to be stacking up. 
towards the east side and blitz you can see blitz and buki going really aggressive going for the early kills already and but we'll get it around it's gonna be a 3v3 but the gun advantage in the favor of the like some esports so it's gonna be interesting to see how much damage more damage blitz can cause because they've already caused enough damage to break some esports economy uh so let's see what happens here levick's gonna be playing that heavens uh, portion gonna go for that p gets a dink but r is the uh, yep and that i think the short stock connected and that's gonna connect Oh, okay. The the second shock that didn't connect, but it, that's gonna put Levick onto very low HP. Levick is gonna try and spam through that floor. He's gonna connect a few shots, but will get taken out by Le Flick to Ace. Even though it's gonna be a seven seven even line score from uh, and uh, Blitz from Esports, they have been successful in evening out the score to seven seven. But yeah, uh, you can see their economy has been uh, damaged and it's to the ground at the moment. So they have to go for a. a uh, clever bonus round you can say uh, except for slum doggy i think everyone is going for that sheriff buy so that they have enough money for the next round and uh, yep that's what you can see there's going to be two specter buys from the side of blixum esports and that's going to be a uh, specter and half shield buy from the side of slum doggy and it's going to be a sheriff double sheriff run by yeah, I, blixum esports yeah talking about vlx i like the support coming in for blt blit in the chat not blt blit coming in in the chat and a lot of supporters so far the poll is going to read 71% for blit esports and so 29 for vlx <laughs> a little bit biased both teams playing really good however talking about good wall and holding a really cheeky angle on shot uh, not going to be spotting anyone as of now the astral smoke is going to be denying the spot and jet is going to be sneaking mid two players holding short and so and astra coming in wall and taking down to spike down now, mid spike is down phoenix still peeking short is going to be taking down wall and a nice headshot coming in however a nice molly as well to cover up short a nice gun actually they are playing really really nicely but they're not really managing to get the kills down uh, that much no charge for the two scenario adam has a sheriff in hand he can do a lot of work with the sheriff if he gets the opportunity Phoenix coming in close is going to be flashing. Is he going to be flashing? He's not going to be flashing. A spam should be coming in from the sheriff, no or Jet should be clutching it up. Atom taking down Buzz, and the heal is going to come in for Slum Doggy as well. Healed up a little bit. Has the info for uh, has the info for Sova. Uh, Astra, sorry. Yeah. Is going to be taking down Astra as well. Atom uh, capitalizing on the info, and now it is a two v two scenario. Atom down to thirty six HP. Has to do a lot of work. They do not Last know. Buki is going to be holding remaining. off. Oh, Atom, a 10-15 seconds on the clock has to get the spike and has to plant. I got the spike. Ten I don't think it is going to be possible the now unless Sova lets them plant, and it is going to be uh, allowed from Sova to plant. Now. And Sova going for the shotgun. He's going to be late, however. The he yeah yeah. So they have the info. He is going to be under heaven. A nice shock dart is going to be coming in. Not going to connect the other way. Atom holding a very very strong angle. Levick is going to be the better flicker here and and getting uh, Atom off the board. It is going to be seven to eight in the favor of Blit as of now. We are seeing a similar put up from the both sides. You can see the same thing happened in the round one. Even the buy round for the we are team Blixum it didn't really go that well. Uh, and you can see with the buy round for Blit they, it's obviously not going really well because they lost four people on their team. And while on the other side, you can see Vilixam is for they're looking really strong on that economy because this was a bonus round for them. Don't forget about that. The last two v four or two v five, I'm right. Two v four clutch, I think, from the side of Slum Doggy and Atom. They played really well, and they were almost close to clutching it up. And Slum Doggy, unfortunately, gets picked up off guard from the side of Buki. That was a really nice positioning from the Bu from Buki, if you ask me. And uh, surprisingly, if you look at side blit, they're kind of going for a forced buy. Uh, and if they manage to lose this round. It's going to be devastating for them, and uh, I think uh, Atom is going to be going for that Phantom, and except for Slum Doggy, it's going to be a uh, full buy coming from this team. And you can see, it's um, Atom is going to be on the Phantom role. He's going to be playing that A main angle, holding it off, and it's going to be Levick spamming up that B main wall. Let's see what the side of Vilixum are doing over here. I think Sakuna and Slum Doggy both get uh, a little bit of damage from that Odin spam, and uh, they're going to check angles. They're going to clear every single angle that there might be someone possible, and it's going to be. The or that Sakuna just took is gonna give him that ult, and that's gonna be a wall spam. I would say this is a very clever hold from the side of Blitz. They're playing that wall really off to their most. Uh, I I would say, and Slum Doggy uses his ult of uh, to no use, but will tag down Levick just a little bit. It's not gonna help them that much, and but you can see wall that is gonna be is gonna be on one HP. I don't know where he got lower from. I think it was a shock dart lineup from the side of uh, Arish. I'm not sure what happened Spike there. Planted. But uh, that was a really, really good fake because they sold it out and it's going to be an A plant. 
So now it's going to be a post plan uh, for the side of Vilixam Esports and they have the gun advantage. Wow. That uh, I myself didn't notice that uh, there, it was going to be a fake. I saw them moving towards A but they went for the plant so quickly that uh, Team Bliss they didn't even realize. So it's going to be a crucial round for Vilixam Esports. So let's see if they can pick this round up and that's going to be Aris going up with the first kill. We'll take a burst. Atom will take it down and but Zata will go ahead and trade Atom down and it's going to be a Odin in the hand of Levick that's going to be a very crucial over here and you can see Aris takes on Walden but Levick will take it on Riggy and Slumdoggy and Sakuna will go and pick those last two guys Slumdoggy going for that right smoke uh, slam at the very last moment now just just what I was talking about Blit Esports they I would say I wouldn't say I mean they might have had something in their mind but I think going on for that force buy wasn't that uh, wasn't a right uh, mindset that they should have been playing in that previous round. You can see now yet again I think they are going for another force Out. buy. I don't know how it's going to turn up for them. But at the, at the moment Vilixam Esports looking strong in terms of economy and uh, I wouldn't say in terms of round because it's 8-8 eight, eight and it's anybody's game from here. So finally Blit Esports they are going to be on an eco round. This should be an easy round for Vilixam Esports because they, are in, they have the uh, gun advantage and you can see Flick to Ace goes for that... Uh, Early pick onto Buzz who was pushing really aggressive in that B main area. And let's see, I think uh, what here uh, Blit will try to do is uh, catch uh, Vilixam off guard and get some early pick. And you can see Atom going for the early push but that right click could have, wouldn't uh, connect really that much. If it had connected, it could have been devastating for Vilixam Esports. That could have uh, turned really bad for them. But you can see Buki on that uh, frenzy position. He's playing on a very cheeky position. I think it's gonna be a rotation coming from the side of Vilixam Esports. And Atom, oh, wrong, the wrong time of switch and we did miss that a nice kill from the side of Atom. And it's remaining. gonna be 1v5 just like expected because it was an eco round. So I would say it has been a pretty good round for the side of Vilixam Esports. They haven't lost any men. Having said that, it's gonna be an eco for the other side. Well, never mind. That's gonna be oh, the thing. Oh, Sakuna oh, goes for that brilliant IQ level. Uh, because he saw him running to that side he, it was just calculated well calculated I would say and this round is gonna be interesting to watch because it's gonna be buy round from both the sides yeah it is gonna be interesting to watch uh, I don't think he caught it however I did see it a uh, walnut was on his alt there and Atom was oh. just in the corner he was he just walked past him the timing was couldn't have been more insane he just moved from that angle and the moment he peaked he was headshotted right away by Atom Really unlucky. However, both the Jets have an operator now to work with. It is going to be interesting to see what's going to happen this round. It is going to be Walnut. The better operator player, he is going to be going aggressive. Buzz, going aggressive, capitalizing on the aggression book. A push, and is going to be taking now a flick to Ace. It's going to be traded out, though, by Sakuna. Now, Sakuna, all alone on B main, has given the call to his teammates. B main should be clear. Spots 1 on B, is over. It's going to be a little bit problematic for him. It's going to be smoked off by Astra as well. Two players have the info here. Ha Sakuna has the info for two players. <laughs> it's going to be teabagging the air right now. Not really connecting Take shots by Sova. And the smokes are going to be retrieved. And good to see what's, what's happening here. Yes. Ooh, Slum Doggy going for the... Oh, he has the alt ready. Now the astral smoke and the pull is going to come in. It is going to be a combo coming in. It would be really exciting to see what's going to happen now. No one is there. That's the sad thing. No one is there. Sova at the right moment. Moved away and now it is going to be Levick taking down Slumdog's uh, ult and now uh, Sakuna going for the stars again. The A nice ult coming in from Sova denying the plant Levick. Tried his best to, to get, oh my god, Ash is down to 30 HP as of now and it is a 3v3 scenario. Jet on the operator, it is a 2v3 now, it is a 3v1 oh. and as I say, it, it is going to be a 3v0. Bookie, Walnut and Sova which is Levick played in perfect unison. A really good round put up by Team Blit. Yep, that was a really good round and you can see a score of 9-9 coming up on the board. This round, this particular round that we just got to see, it was super crucial for the side of Blit. Uh, because they were just on their border of their economy. While on the other side, you can see Team Vilixam is both. They are looking pretty good on their economy. Except for the Jet who went on that operator by previous round. I think he should be good on going on for his... Uh, for, uh, for, I mean, he should be good playing uh, because he has uh, Blade Storm in his hands. And yes, that is exactly what we are going to see. While on the other hand, Blitz... Uh, they are looking pretty good in terms of economy as well, except for Bus Buster, who's gonna be on that half shield. So this round is gonna be very interesting to watch what happens because it's way. gonna be it's looking it's looking like a very um, split push towards uh, coming from the side of Vilixam Esports, and that's gonna be the aggression from Buzz Buzz Buster will take down two. What is happening is very low on HP, but will still manage to get to the very super aggression. Uh, it was uh, totally unexpected from the side of Vilixam Esports, and they will get uh, get caught off guard. 
and uh, this round is going to be interesting to watch because it's going to be a mid pull from coming from the side of uh, VLX. Flick to A's while Atom comes with the backstab. That was played really well from both these. Oh, what a coordination. That was so totally faked out by Flick to A's. Oh my god, I don't have enough votes for that play. And now let's see. Sakuna is going to be rotating, going, following, falling back to his teammates. But I don't think VLX, they have any idea that Levick is holding this uh, CT position. One and yep, uh, he's not going to check that and will get taken down. It's all up to Sakuna to clutch this 1v2. Sakuna all alone and B main. Can he clutch this? And Soa is going to fall back to side. There's still 45 seconds left. And the Phoenix, he's gonna fall back since he heard the Sakuna place the stars up to CT. So let's see what happens here. So Sakuna going for that smokes, I guess. Yep. And he's gonna smoke bo uh, smoke uh, Buzz Buster off. I think Buzz Buster will left. go uh, sm peek off the smoke once uh, Sakuna peeks sight and uh, Soa gives him the right info. But Sakuna went for that do op uh, door open. And uh, now they know their location and Levick will watch in the right spot. And he will Ending take down ahead. Sakuna. And that's gonna be round number 10 on the board for Blitz Esports. I would say this round was all on uh, Bus Buster because he that uh, aggressive push towards the A main that got them two kills early on. That helped them get the round. And now uh, VLX still looking good on their in terms of the economy, except for Slum Doggy. He's probably gonna go on that half shield buy. But this is going to be a very crucial round for them because if they lose this round, they will have to go on that eco round. Yeah, talking about losing, uh, I would like to question, what was that? Flick to Ace, what was that ult yep, kill yep. joy? In mill, in pizza, that does not make sense. Why would you ult there? Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm I, sure you want to clear mid, but you also want to go and plant on a site. Sova was standing in CT, did not get ulted, and that is what got you out. And uh, I really don't know what happened there. Maybe he was planning to have a different play. Maybe he had a creative play in mind, but that did not work out in his favor. And yep. it is going to be a timeout coming in from the attackers. 9-10, to 10, the scoreline reads so far. Defenders are winning, which is blit. And still, they have an upper hand because um, they are going aggressive again and again. But they're not managing to get the kills, though. They are getting lucky a little bit. And thanks to Buki, he managed to get a lot, a lot of rounds on his favor in the earlier, earlier rounds, in the first half. Talking about the scoreboard, it is going to be 22 kills for Buki, 14 kills for Livik and Walnut. Uh, on the other side, it is going to be Atom with leading with the scoreboard. 23 kills, 16 kills on flick to ace. The full buy coming in and Walnut is going for the operator again without the armor. That is a very bold move, my friend. He has to capitalize on the operator. He has to get at least two kills to be able to call six to have to to able to be able to compensate for the operator peak and the operator buy. A shot that coming in, tagging uh, tagging a little bit towards Phoenix. Phoenix. Not that much though. A nice over recon coming in towards the tree and the nade and the walls coming in. Killjoy, alarm bot in the middle of the side. Phoenix is going to be ulting through the smoke and is going to catch one off card. Another flash coming in is going to be taking now. What? He shot flick, flick to waste through the boxes. Didn't even see him. VLX Slumdog is going to be taking down him as well. And now it is going to be a 3v4 scenario. Uh, Slumdog healing slowly but steadily. Now, Walnut with an operator. Not sure how this is going to work for him. In defensive, Ooh. is going to be taken down by Arish. A nice tap from uh, Jet as well. Is going to be taken down. Atom is going to be taken down. Slum Doggy on the other hand. Oh my what God. is happening? They are just walking oh. into the utility. They, they, they need to be Can more aware of the surroundings. Now, this is something that happens once you are over communicating. That is what might be the reason. Can't really judge. They should be taking the timeout as of now and getting new strategies again. But I don't think they have a timeout left to take. So, really sad for them. Now, it is going to be an eco coming in from the defenders' uh, blit. Yeah. However, a sheriff coming in as well. Levick can be dropping sheriffs to everyone. Uh, Walnut going for the marshal. Bye. Good to see that. And Levick going for the spectre as well. Yep, and this round is going to be very interesting to watch because Levick, uh, I mean, Team Blitz, they need to damage the economy of Willixum uh, as much as they can if they plan to win up the next buy round for them. Or maybe even play, play it very smartly and win the round for themselves because this round is going to be very crucial on the board for both the teams. So, as you can see, that's going to be a molly that's going to damage Buzz a little bit and will take down the ult. Buki will take off his ult, but it's going to be a 5 4 in the favor of Willixum Esports and uh, the Killjoy on the side of Blitz is going to be very low. Will take out Slumdog with a nice one tap, I would say that. That's her job done. She denied the entry for very long and that goes for the double one tap, I think, if, with the classic. Levick also going for the pick. What is happening? Suddenly, the game looks in the favor of uh, Vilixam Esports. And, uh, not, I mean, the game looks in the favor of Blitz Esports. Forgive me. And Vilixam Esports going in for the plant and uh, you can spot Sakuna on the side of B main. And now, 
you couldn't even say that they have the gun advantage because it wasn't Ikaron for Blitz because they managed to pick up the guns for themselves and it's gonna be very crucial for them. It's gonna be a 3v2 in the favor of Blitz Esports. And uh, now Sakuna and the Flick 2As, it's all up to them for the team to win it up because it's an eco round for Blitz. They can't afford to lose this round. They have to do something and cut this up and that comes the first step for the clutch and will take him down and Walnut will walk into sight. Flick to Ace, One very low on HP, will survive, will ask for help, but Walnut is very low on HP, Flick to Ace pushing him himself very well and a disaster on the happening has been stopped by Flick to Ace and Sakuna. And as you can see, they were the two guys who uh, didn't have much economy to go for the buy in the next round, but they survived. So, which means their whole team, they have a very good buy and that you can see that's going to be a timeout coming from the side of Blit. And now, because this is going to be a buy round for them and this is super, super crucial, they can't afford to lose this round. If they afford to lose this round, it will put Team Willixum into a match point and a map point and whatever point you can call it, you can call it and uh, and not only that, it will also damage their economy very much and they wouldn't have uh, enough money to go for a proper buy to make that comeback happen. So they need to win this round, they need to put the round on the board. Even if they win the round, uh, Willixum Esports, they're going to have enough money to go for the buy in the next round. So it's going to be very crucial for the side of Blitz Esports. Willixum Esports just looking to seal that uh, round and make them put them into a position where they can win the map so that's what they're going to be looking for as of now it's going to be a timeout from the side of blitz uh, so after the timeout rolls out in 15 seconds we're going to see both the teams go head to head against each other you can see i don't think it's good that's going to be an operator for a buy from both the teams uh, and you can see already a split coming from the side of Willixum esports a three-man two-man split from the side of Willixum esports so it's going to be interesting to watch maybe they're going to be playing it slow so let's see what happens yeah, so flick two ways, placing Here. a turret uh, for the B Here. push, and now 11 seconds on the clock. The game is about to be started. 11 to 10 in the favor of uh, VLX as of now. They need to play uh, really good to secure this round as well because since Blit has a good timeout, had a good timeout, that could have been a um, what do you say, a flow breaking timeout as well. Walnut is going to be advancing towards short, hiding in cubby. Holding mid, it is it is going to be jet versus jet situation, but no, the smoke is going to be covering that angle. Atom moving into the smoke, a really, really sad smoke from Astra. And now he is going to be securing pizza and going towards market. Not really spotting anyone, going CT, is going clearing every single angle nearby. And I think he is going to catch Phoenix off guard if he stays, stays there long enough. Waits for them to peek. Phoenix also has a good read of the game. He knows someone might have pushed already and is going to be holding from CT under he uh, lower heaven as well. If Atom moves at the perfect time, he is. it is going to be a very deadly situation. Killjoy, already down to 40 HP. Uh, it is going to be interesting to see what's, what take are they going to go for. It is going to be a B take as of now, it seems like. Uh, Flick to Ace and Slum Doggy along with Sova are all ready. And now the recon is going to come in. A flash coming in. Blinding of Flick to Ace. That that is a little bit problematic. A recon coming in as well is going to be tagged by the recon from the take one. Oh, Flick to Ace takes one as well. Zeta trading down Arish. Atom going for the double kill. Nice double kill towards Bukki and Bazbuster. It is, it is, it seems like it is going to be match point for team VLX. However, Jet has to do all the work for the teammate. It's going to be kept caught in the open. Both the, both the Jets have no ammo in the guns and it is going to be a classic playoff. It is going to be Atom. Who is going to be the better jet here? Match 12 point. to 10. The match point coming in the final round. And uh, as you can see, the Atom, the patience from him, that was immensible. Like, uh, I mean, we have an idea that two people are holding up, uh, holding him off in the CT. But he had no idea, obviously, right? So he was holding that angle for a very long time. Which made the Phoenix, like, think for a little bit. Is even someone there? If someone was there, they, might, they should have been peeking me already. But they didn't and that uh, paid him off really well and he would end up getting more kills for his team and would take the round for themselves. Now a broken buy coming from the side of Blit Esports hoping that they could make a comeback here. Because they can't afford to lose the round. They afford lo they, if they lose the round, it's gonna be a go home story for them. And Sakuna already making that story going to... Uh, I mean, uh, he was uh, about to de demolish it but will get traded out by uh, Buzz, uh, Buster Buzz Buster Buster saving it by a hair I would say. But I think already Atom... Getting that A-shot control, Atom is a very sneaky the, uh, W gaming jet, I would say. Uh, not very very fast W gaming, but he's ready to take map control as when as, uh, as it is given by the enemies. And will get taken down by, by uh, Livik though. Drone. It was a good read from the side of uh, the SOA. Will get tra uh, will trade him out and it's gonna be a 4v3 in the favor of uh, uh, Blitz Esports. But you can see...
still they're not on a very good um, gun buy I would say so they can go for a nice pick I can see uh, Buki going for that ult usage this is going to be a very crucial round for them so they just want to confirm the round for themselves denying that beef was from coming from the side of Bilixam and um, Bilixam esports on the other hand they're gonna wait out the ult and they're gonna go for that B push yet again. I think uh, over. Team Blitz, they have no idea. They thought uh, just cause they ult Bilixum esports are probably gonna fall back and go for the day push. But they know they're gonna wait out the ult. They're gonna go push, go and push B side yet again. It's gonna be a strong push coming on the side of Bilixum esports. And this body count that I was talking about One was gonna remaining. be playing a very crucial role. Fight but down. eventually it's gonna be an amazing hold from the side of Killjoy who's gonna deny all the players uh, from side of Vilik Samisput who are trying to push aside and this match is getting interesting and more interesting uh, since we head into the last round of the uh, map and I mean this could be the last round but if they get a vent up to get this map it's gonna be an uh, overtime so you can see Walnut will be on his uh, blade storm except for that all the nine players in the lobby they're gonna be on their full buys with the Vandal and Phantom yeah, so talking about the last round, this looks like it is going to go to overtime. However, still a very strong buy from both sides. Full buy. And uh, it is going to be Artem leading the scoreboard with 27 kills. Bookie with 25, falling off very closely by 17. Artem going aggressive, very aggressive by as of now. He's not really caring. This is the last round. He should be playing on the ult. He's going to be... No one's going to be spotted by the killjoy alarm bots. However, the information is there for them. A nice volley, Jet, Blades coming in, not tagging anyone, Jet gonna, good for, he's gonna, good, gonna be good for one, good for two. Taking two down, Walnut is also out, oh, Arish you is gonna be in Levick. And it is, a three, it is a 5v2 scenario, turn down, turn a 4v2, a 4v1 and I think it is gonna be a game over for team BLT. It might be Blitz, game over BLT, but they don't know yeah. the location of Bus Buster, do they? But obviously he's in the side of CT Bus so they're gonna be very aware of that. And uh, as you can see, Buzz is going to be holding that angle. I don't think he has much to do there. Whoa! It's going to be an A plan from Vilixam Esport. Buzz Buster has no idea what is going on. And Arish is going to be holding him off as long as he can uh, while the plant goes Fight down in the planted. A side. This is like a brilliant play. Vilixam Esports are not at all ready to, to I mean, give a single person of uh, chance to Buzz to clutch this round away. And that shock dart is going to connect. It's going to put Buzz Buster on 70 HP and Irish is gonna scare him off Bus Buster is like you keep scaring me I know you're not gonna pick me I'm gonna just rush the side and it's gonna be really hard for him he will get taken down a little bit of uh, HP uh, and it's gonna be uh, he's gonna be waiting on that heal and he's gonna be back on 100 HP okay he's on 80 HP you can tank for the two bullets will take down Irish off guard and uh, let's see and he has that ult he's gonna utilize that ult which wasn't uh, which was not a very good idea I think because he will not have enough time to defuse and that's gonna be a GG from the side of Vilixam Esports. They played this last round really 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 well I would say. Because if it was a B plant Attackers maybe Bus could have had a chance of clutching remaining. that off. But literally in time they were already inside B side right. But literally in like a couple of seconds time they regrouped and they went to A for the plant. And they baited off uh, Flick to Ace. Uh, I mean they baited off Arish. I wouldn't say baited off. He holded him off for a really long time and he also gave him enough damage. And Atom, you can see, he's going for that four first blast with the 29 kill for the match MVP. And all his teammates play, playing really well with that good support. What do you think, Abyss? Yeah, it has been really good. Atom and Buki, both the players have been the MVPs so far of both the teams. And uh, I must say, I'm impressed by Buki's play. And so Atom's, because Atom has been going aggressive, even though he has been shut down almost 80% of the time. But he did manage to get one kill in the end every single time. And opening of the site is extremely important as, as, as a duelist, right? So that is exactly what ha he has been doing. Uh, 13 to 11, congratulations to VLX for winning this. And uh, Blit, extremely nice try. It's sometimes you just don't win. And sometimes it's just not your day. However, come back stronger next time. Keep practicing. And we will be seeing you all in the next one. Guys, we have another match lined up very soon for you guys. Once again, it has been me deploy. It has been me watching Abyss along with Deployed. Yep. You can find our socials in the description if you did enjoy the casting. If you did enjoy the matches, let us know in chat. We are appreciating all the feedback that we get. And uh, yeah, it has been a good game so far. I was hoping for an overtime, but did not really go to overtime. It so anyways, like, yeah. Yeah, any, it looked like it was going to go to overtime, but uh, yeah, it did not really get to overtime. It is going to be the next match coming up very soon. Just stick around and we will be coming back shortly. Yeah, and uh, it looked like, even though it looked like an overtime, 
we are like suddenly pulling an out of something out of the ordinary right they never rushed uh, any side i mean they rushed a side they rushed b side they never really went for that mid rush we saw uh, sakuna going for that mid push and holding off that angle maybe that is what uh, team blade were expecting as soon as they heard the smoke sounds and the rush sound they were expecting sakuna to going for go, go for that solo push but they were caught off guard when the whole team was literally backing up him very so strong so that they could go for a little bit of a trade game and then uh, buki who tried to go for a some picks over there could manage to get one but uh, would be good for only one and will get traded out and even after that Willixon playing it really safe they just fall back after getting so many kills onto B side it literally a 4v1 and uh, I mean it was a 4v1 or a 5v1 I'm not sure it was 5v1 I think and uh, they just ah uh, 4v1 Buki obviously took one so it's gonna be a, it was a 4v1 they fall back to A side went in for that A plant and uh, I would say they just wanted to confirm the round for sure they didn't want to give uh, Buster any chances on clutching that out really kudos to them they played really well and uh, congratulations to both the team obviously I mean Blitz played really well unfortunately uh, it isn't their day maybe next time they can come stronger just like Abyss said so it's me deployed guys and uh, along with me is watching Abyss we'll see you guys in the next map it's gonna take us like a uh, less than a couple of minutes because the players are already ready so don't go anywhere we'll be be right back uh, we'll be right back all right thank you Yeah, yeah, <laughs> MD, JPB, it's only right, baby. Yeah, why you mad? I got a bad bro. Name hot in these streets, no Tabasco. But I'm so stuck, that's a fact, yo. And if you think I'm running, you can run it back, yo. Go on, run it back. You know that I'm running. Everything you want to do, I already done it. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one, that one. Damn, it's going to be a long night. Yeah. You know. I said, uh, I said, damn, it's gonna be a long night. Woo. Yeah, let's go. Look, look, look. I told Shorty, drop it for a real one. Yeah. Go ahead and pop it, let me feel some. Let me feel some. Do it for the boy with a bag yeah. now. Movie star money making everybody act out. Hey. To these women, if I want them, then I tell them. Don't get fly for these women. I was born with these propellers. All my haters cannot be me, so I call them my capellas. See, I'm only getting better. You only get jealous. You know that I run it. Everything you wanna do, I already done it. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one, that one. Damn, it's gonna be a long night, 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 night. You know, I got this one, that one. Damn, it's gonna be a long night. Everything you wanna do, I already done it. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one, that one. Damn, it's gonna be a long night. Yeah. You know. I said, uh, I said, damn, it's gonna be a long night. Woo. Yeah, let's go. Look, look, look. So shorty, drop it for a real one. Yeah. Go ahead and pop it, let me feel some. Let me feel some. Do it for the boy with a bag yeah. now. Movie star money, making everybody act out. Hey. I don't lie to these women, if I want them, then I tell them. Yeah. Don't get fly for these women, I was born with these propellers. All my haters cannot be me, so I call them my capellas. Hey. See, I'm only getting better, you only get jealous. You know that I run it. I run it. Everything you want to do, I already done it. Hey. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one, that one. Damn, it's gonna be a long night, 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 night.
that's a fact, yo. And if you think I'm running, you can run it back, yo. Go on, run it back. You know that I run it. Everything you wanna do, I already done it. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one, that one. Damn, it's gonna be a long night. Yeah. You know. I said, uh, I said, damn, it's gonna be a long night. Shorty drop it for a real one. Yeah. Go ahead and pop it, let me feel some. Let me feel some. Do it for the boy with a bag yeah. now. Movie star money making everybody act out. Yeah. I don't lie to these women. If I want them, then I tell them. Yeah. Don't get fly for these women. I was born with these propellers. All my haters cannot beat me, so I call them my capella. See, I'm only getting better. You only get jealous. You know that I run it. Everything you want to do, I already done it. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one. Damn, it's gonna be a long night, 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 night. Woo! You know? I right, this one, that one. Damn, it's gonna be a long night. Yeah. Empty. JP Big. Ready, no, baby. Yeah. Do it for the boy with a bag now. Movie star money making everybody act out. I don't 
don't lie to these women if I want them then I tell them don't get fly for these women I was born with these propellers all my haters cannot be me so I call them my capellas see I'm only getting better you only get jealous you know that I run it everything you want to do I already done it and I got your little boo telling me she love me I got this one that one damn it's gonna be a long night 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 Guys, welcome back to Yoda Comedy Cup Season 2 and sponsored by Exit Lag, Pandey Electronics, Max Britannia and Saag Yemas, the owner of Yoda Esports. So, a little bit of an unfortunate situation over here. As you can see, watching Abyss is not with us uh, right now. He is uh, facing some uh, disconnection issue and instead of watching Abyss, there's going to be a little bit of surprise there because it's going to be uh, Saag Yemas, who's, who's, the, who's the owner of uh, Yoda Esports, who's going to be joining us here on this caster's desk and uh, welcome Saag bro. Thank you so much, Deployed, for the uh, awkward invite. Okay. And uh, let's see how this match is going I guess uh, the, both the teams, like Punished and Initiators, pe both uh, have the, like very good amount of players. And the rest of analyze kiji Deployed. Okay, yeah. So the uh, next match up against is going to be between uh, Initiator Esports and Team Punished. So Initiator Esports is going to be defending and it's going to be Team Punished who's going to be on the attack. And that's a bit of surprise there. We're going to be seeing Icebox uh, picked up uh, by these teams. And uh, we're going to be seeing an Icebox for the first time in the tournament. If I'm right, I'm not uh, very sure about that. So that's going to be interesting to watch. So let's see how this rolls up for both the teams. So it's going to be interesting to watch. And I think uh, the... Uh, I mean, there you go. Uh, Abyss, is, Abyss has just joined us. I think he's back. Uh, welcome back, Abyss. So, yeah, thank you so much for the welcome. There was a little bit of technical issue. guys. basically a power cut from my side. Uh, don't worry, that has been solved. It should be fixed and there should be not no problems from my side as well. Uh, we are ready to start the game. I just got the calls uh, and I think uh, we yep. will be starting the game in a minute. So we're going to be starting the game and uh, it's going to be Icebox, which is going to be really interesting to watch because uh, we know Team Punish, they have been really perform. I mean, they've been performing really good uh, recently in the... Uh, community of Valorant, Indian Valorant uh, gaming community and on the other side we have Initiator Esports who have been pretty well known for their uh, uh, consistent performance I would say and they have their new roster and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting to watch so let's see how this game rolls out and uh, all the players are ready and it's up to the admins call and the match is gonna start any moment and uh, don't go anywhere guys the uh, next match so is we'll be starting and by the way I got an unfortunate news from the admins just like that just that I can see uh, this is going to be the last match for the day. The next match, the last match that is supposed to be happening today, uh, it got cancelled out since uh, Hi-Fi Esports, they had some issues from their side, so they are backing out from the tournament. So it's going to be a walkthrough for Team WDK, and they're going to be moving up to the next round. It's really unfortunate we couldn't get, uh, get to 
see the last match of uh, round 32 day one so it's uh keeping all that aside let's focus on this match which is going to be the last match for the day uh it's going to be interesting how both these teams plays out and let's see let's look take a look at their squad and uh we're going to be switching back to the game scene as soon as the game starts watching abyss what are your analysis on this game yeah, so first of all, we can't really analyze anything because we haven't really seen what's going to happen. But uh, since this is going to be Icebox, it is going to be interesting. And we are about to start the game. Uh, yes, we are about to get into the game right now. We will be moving to the agent selection, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're having a good time so far. And we are going to the agent selection. Uh, yeah, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as well if you're new. Also, uh, it is me watching Abyss. Alongside me, it is Diploid. You can find our socials in the description. Uh, we will be starting the games and the agent picks are going to come in right now. Oh, the jet locks are coming in as well. Uh, they are already, they have already, uh, thought about what they're going to pick. IE seems to be very strong on what they, uh, they know what they're going to pick. <laughs> good to see that they have a good control over what they want. And, uh, having said that guys, this tournament is conducted by Yoda Eats Force in the Sponsors for these tournaments are Exit Lag, Panda Electronics, Max Britannia and Saha Gamers. And I would like to give the shout out to these sponsors uh, because of whom this amazing tournament uh, was able to be put up by Yoda Esports. So if you guys don't want to miss any ahead tournaments conducted by these, uh, this uh, organization especially because this is the Community Cup Season 2. There might be Season 3 and 4 coming up ahead. So if you guys want to go and participate in that, uh, go ahead and join their Discord and the link to their Discord is given in the description below. So it's me deployed and it's going to be Abyss uh, casting you guys throughout this match. The last match for the day, unfortunately. Uh, let's hope this is going to be a treat to watch. Right. Yes, so we are about to start guys. And uh, uh, I think uh, we will be we will be starting the game. Yes, and uh, it is going to be a good... I hope this is going to be a good lineup so far. I did not really check up on the lineup. So far it looks like oh the viper is coming in i hope they both know both the teams know the lineups coming for viper after plant is going to be really really important with the viper coming in and uh, so far the lineups should be on point and uh, the teams are supposed are ready as i got to know uh, no time are going to be taken uh, at the starting of the game and uh, a sheriff pie coming in from 20 fps uh, that is something that's unique not many people do that it is a risky move but could be potentially rewarding as well uh, a recon should be coming in from Punjabi. It's not going to be coming in. Uh, Hen Hen Henex is going to be spotted. Going back again. Pipes is not going to be covered anymore. And uh, I need down to 13 Thank HP. You. A headshot coming in. A dink to the head. And uh, Mutable going ahead really, really forward. Uh, the team, team shock that coming in as well. Tagging jet. Uh, tagging players. Very low. Flex. FP, uh, 20 FPS is still going very strong. It's going to be taken One down though by Sporky. Remains. Very by why by God is gonna be taking one more player here and it is gonna be a 3v1 scenario. Uh Reyna is very low, however, he can heal very fast as well, so he needs to get the kill. One down. Wow, a clean tap by uh, Kami. I must say, really clean tap by Kami. And Flex, he knows Flex is heaven. He is playing around with him. He got the info, he has some down lower, and now it is up to Flex and Sage to clutch this 1v2 situation. He's slowly making his way in, saw him. But chose to ignore it. A nice smoke coming in. Going for the stick. Is not going to be activating the smoke. Huh? Yeah. I don't know why he did not activate the smoke. What do you think deployed? What went wrong? I think he pressed the diffuse button and the smoke deploy button at the same time. Usually I have faced this issue a lot of times as well. Whenever you go for a utility deploy and then uh, and the diffuse at the same time. The diffuse goes to, uh, goes to I mean uh, it decides to make it up. Uh, to put itself in an upper position and uh, the diffuse goes in and the uh, utility usage doesn't go in so i think that was a little bit of a timing issue over there but i would say he didn't have much nothing much to do there because he, he was holded up on both the sides of the cross and also being said that this is not the first time we are seeing icebox on this tournament my bad this is the second time that we're getting to see icebox on this in this tournament and you can see team uh oh my god that was an aggressive push from lucifer of initial respawn will get punished for that by sparky and that's going to be flex getting taking out punjabi on the side of uh, Initiator Esports and it's going to be really interesting to watch because why because has got a really nice plan will get one, one will get two remaining. can he get the last guy it's going to be Reina Senex is going to be there and he will get a get boxed out I would say and that's going to be round number two on the board for Team Punish and um, it's going to be really interesting to see from here because both the teams they went for a kind of a light buy and now it's going to be a bonus round coming out from the side of uh, Team Punish 
Except for Immutable who's gonna be playing on his Vandal. He's gonna be playing a very vital role in this round. While Initiate is both they're going for their full buy except for 20 FPS and Senex, the both the duelists they're going on his uh, they're going on their half seal, which shouldn't matter that much. And you can see yeah. uh the SOA, the lone fighter in B, the whole team they're playing towards A. They I think they're expecting uh team punish to push towards A. Standing ahead. And as you can yeah, see, push is gonna come in. Yeah, push is gonna come in. Kami going aggressive. He's gonna be going back to again. He do he does know two or three players there. Senex is gonna get tagged by the Sovari coin. And uh, Kawai playing very passive. I like how he's playing. Uh, let be trying to tag someone in the smoke. Ooh, a nice recon spotting one off. It's gonna be taken down. Flex is just gonna be going off. And 20 Spike FPS is also gonna be taken down. Immutable. Why goes why my god? He's gonna be taking Senex as well. 20 FPS being the MVP for this round. Taking down three players as of now. Two or three players, and it's gonna be Kawai. All alone, left on the side, 1v3 situation. I have the spike. A good control though, uh, oh, oh. It's gonna be tapping away. No, he's gonna be spraying away and connecting the headshot as well. Nice play by 20 FPS, a good deny on the side. So A side is on complete lockdown as of now uh, by 20 FPS and Kawai. Uh, I mean 20 FPS and Kami. So good and, to know uh, that yeah. they are playing really, really passive and aggressive at the same time. Uh, a lot of strategies can come in, in as this is Icebox. It is a really big map. So a lot of angles to clear, a lot of places to go to, and uh, it is going to be interesting to see what the plan. The bonus round for uh, Team Punish it play paid out really well for them, but even though it didn't damage the economy of initiatives for that much, except for saying that Kami is going to be on that bulldog. And even though Kami is not going to be on that bulldog, Lucifer has a lot of money to go for the next uh, buy round because he did not go for that shield purchase since he already has 36 HP left on his shield. And why because he's going to go and take out Punjabi early and Flex is going to take out FPS as well. Senex Spike on the other hand goes for the double pick on Sporky and Flex will get immutable as well. He's going to be going on that three kill uh, rampage and will put his team up ahead on a well, two man advantage and it's going to be Lucifer taking the Kawai out and it's going to be 1v3 in the favor of uh, Initiatives and Lucifer will finish off YB God and with that it's going to be round number two on the board for uh, Initiatives for Initiatives Esports losing the first two rounds looking strong for now and uh, they're going to force they're going to force our team punish to an eco round I think except for YB God who's going to be going and forcing that Vandal oh now man they're going to be they are going to force an, force this round. I think there is not going to be an eco really for them. I don't know what's happening in Team Punish. So we have to wait and watch how what's the buy is going to turn out for them. And I think Immutable will go on for that uh, maybe Blade Storm play or something. So let's see what how they play it out. And uh, for Initiative Esports, they are looking really strong in terms of their economy. Yeah, so talking about economy, they are really strong as of now. A full buy coming in from Initiative. Kami going for the kill early on is going to be taking down Immutable. And now it is going to be... Uh, the Sage is going to get healed down. back by the toxins. He did get damaged though, but he's going to be healed back again. No issues. Kawai going ahead. for a recon. Single bounce. Yes, it is a single bounce recon. And it is going to be spawning anyone on yellow as well. A nice recon. But why by God on the other side? It's going to be trading down loose for a nice revive coming in. A 4v5 situation now. If you look at it carefully, they are going towards B. It is a get call for B rush. Way. A 5 man B rush is going to be deadly. If they're not able to hold and get two or three frags early round, the defenders need to play it absolutely right Welcome or it could be deadly for them. World. Nice ult coming in for Viper as well to secure the plant. No Spike option planted. left for, Ka for Kami but to go in. It's going to be taken down with a nice headshot by Flex. A shock dart coming in again. <sighs> Damages! A lot! Mm. Good damage by his teammate and the vulnerable from Viper and the Vi Viper pit as well. Tagged him down a lot. He's going to be taken down though. Jet dashes through, misses, misses the right click. Uh, free kill potential for Sova right now. He's going to be tapping away, not connecting. Viper pushing through the smoke. It's going to be connecting the extra. Why, by God. A 3k. Nice 3k to clutch up. The third round put up on the scoreboard. Good to see. Yep. Yeah, that's really good to see. And you can see initially Esport, they are looking a bit shaky in terms of their economy. I think uh, they're gonna go for the full buy yet again while 20 FPS is gonna be playing on his Blade Storms and you can see Team Punish they are uh, doing pretty well in, in terms of their attack in the previous round having said that it wasn't a really decent buy for them in the previous round and uh, they managed to uh, confirm that round for them and uh, it was a really amazing place from the side of the duo the Sen X on that Drainer play played a really vital role I mean not Sen X my bad Flex on that Drainer role who played really well for his team and you can see Ai Kami going for the aggressive push in B, B main but isn't gonna spot out anyone for for the moment and you can see YB God holding that mid just to make sure nobody comes for that backstab 
and uh, that's going to be a trade in terms of E I E Punjab and uh, Spokey is going to trade him off for taking out flex and it's going to be a backstab coming in from the side of Kami. Can will it pay off? We have to wait and watch. And for now, it's going to be the side take for Team Punished. It's going to be a three v three in the favor of Team Punished. Uh, it's going to be a three v two, and now it looks like a. Uh, I mean, I would still say it's in the favor of Team Punish because they have the site and uh, the stage of the opponent team is low. But at the moment, Initiate Esports, the way they are positioning themselves, they can have a good retake. You can see Immutable going for that uh, off angle, I would say. And yes, he would get that stink. Not gonna get any pick One over there. And Kami is gonna look for the looking to block off angles with the smoke up. And it's gonna be Initiate Esports going for that really good retake. And that trade will come out. In, in so I mean that trade between Immutable and uh, Kami uh, it goes up and that would help Initiate Report e e pick up the third round for them on the board and uh, it didn't damage the economy of uh, Team Punish that much but still uh, it helped Initi I mean uh, it helped Initiate e Sports to get the round on the board but even though they won the round on the board uh, it's gonna be uh, still a broken buy from the side of Initiate e Sports unless maybe Reyna can drop him a gun and up. Uh, Yep, we are, we are going to see some broken buys from the side of Initiate Esports. But on the other hand, uh, Team Punish, they are also a little weak on the uh, economy. Since it's going pretty neck to neck, both teams are playing really well. We need to see who comes up ahead in this round, uh, which is going to be very crucial. Yeah, so he is Can going to be ahead. playing very close. And now if you look at it, Sova's Recon is going to come in. Uh, nice spot, but no one's going to be spotted. And the Kami is falling off. Okay, uh, safe alt. I would consider that a really brilliant choice because they were planning to go towards B. Now that would push them back to A. A good alt decision coming in from yeah. Kami. Uh, Jet updrafting here is going to be giving the sound cue and uh, is going to be Sage taking one down as well. Spike so down, now Kami is going to get spammed to the smoke, not really tagging anyone. Yes, he is. I eat 20 FPS. is going to be taken down. Why, by God? Lucifer with a nice wall. And uh, I think I think uh, Jet, Jet is going to be taking down Sporky. Any second now, Sparky is uh, slow upping again and again. Heaven, not really giving them chance, giving him the chance to pick up. Uh, and now it is going to be Jet sneaking up above the wall. They would not expect him coming middle because it is walled up. And as of now, it is Jet's game. A nice set. What? Nice double headshot coming in from Jet and a triple headshot, a 4K coming in from Jet to clutch up the round. A wonderful round played by 20 FPS, i.e. initiating indeed. Up initiator esports, they are initiating the pace of the game at the moment and uh, they are in the advantage at the moment with the one round lead. And that was an amazing round from the side of 20 FPS, he played the jet role really well. And uh, he would help his team on uh, getting that round, putting his team on a lead of 4-3. And you can see Team Punish, they are going to be going on an eco anytime soon. And uh, as you can see, they are going to be going on that eco. And uh, YB God being the top fragger for I mean for uh, Team Punish, while Flex and uh, Immutable, uh, not so quite, I would say. They they are doing their pretty, uh, job pretty well, they are getting those entry frags, but not so much with that kills. While on the other hand, you can see 20 FPS and Senex standing up for their team, helping the team to put across the line. But still, it's anyone's really game end. because it's pretty neck to neck. So let's see what happens here. The uh, recon is gonna go to that B main area. Isn't gonna spot out anyone, but uh, he's gonna activate his ult anyway. Does not connect any. I think he connected on. Uh, no, he didn't connect. Uh, okay, so let's see. If, uh, it's gonna be a B push, I think, right? It's gonna be a five man B push from, from the side of Team Punish. That's gonna be that's gonna be a lead coming out from Reina. To help his teammates to break any moment soon, as soon as the wall goes down and yes there comes the lead and they have the site for themselves they should be going for the plant any moment the siege is going to be very low on hp she would heal herself and there comes the wall that's going to the that goes the plant and uh, the team initiative sport they would fail in uh, stopping the plant but still senex would take down spooky after plant and it's going to be a full 5v4 in the advantage of initiative sport flex will go for the reina alt it's going to be interesting to watch how he can pull it out with this Reina ult, can he pull this round out for a six? And will not manage to get any kills, will get taken out by 20 FPS and YB God will go for the trade on Lucifer. And it's gonna be the diffuse coming out from the side of Punjabi. And it's gonna be one lone warrior left alone at B main, it's gonna be Kawai. Trying to stop the diffuse, will get the last ping, uh, but it will not stop the Shady Sports from getting the diffuse down. And there goes the diffuse down and it's gonna be round number 5 on the board for Initiate Sports. The match that was looking neck to neck suddenly go looking in the favor of initiative sports since uh, it's gonna be it's probably would go is going to be an eco round for team punish or maybe they can go for a force buy so for the first time in the 
whole game we are seeing. I mean, in the first pistol round, we are in the and in the second bonus round, we saw them go for a 2-0 lead, and uh, now yet again they are going for a two-round lead, and it's a 5-3 in the advantage of Initiator Esports. Nice, a wall coming in from Viper early on, denying the B entry, and they are going towards A. I don't think Viper know that knows that, but it's going to be up in the, uh, starting the wall is going to be sneaking close. A double wall setup. I mean, the walls by both Vipers are on point, but uh, not really that useful. He just um, he just managed to cross that, and the CT is not going to be covered as well fully. Screens are going to be open, tapping away, lowering jet down to 50 HP. So a shock dart though, lowering jet down to 23 HP as well. Both the jets very low. They have the healer. It's going to be taking down the healer as well. Punjabi takes them, uh, take them Sage Kawai re responding and takes down Punjabi as well. It is a low situation for both the players. Sova and Jet, 1 HP. Oh my god, Sova literally 1 HP. And 4 HP in this case. And it is going to be an intense round for Viper to clutch up in case they did not manage to get the rounds for the teammates as well. Jet sneaking in. Not going to be catching Boss anyone here in the elbow. Down. Still moving aggressive forward. The wall is down. They wouldn't. They no should not be moving left. like that. The call for pipes is given and both what the players mean? left are 1 HP. It is a 2v4 scenario and I think, remaining. yes, he is going to be taken down. Immutable is going to be taken down. Spots the last guy, 4 HP. is going to be taken down by Lucifer as well. One bullet to the body, finishing off 6-3 to three in the favor of Initiator. Yep, and uh, the last round was uh, kind of a domination from the side of Initiator Esports, I would say, because Team Punish, they couldn't even manage to get into the side. Uh, the one guy of their team who managed to get into the side managed to get a single pick. And uh, that, you can, that is, uh, you can see it's uh, 20 FPS. I mean, not 20 FPS. It was Immutable who could, who managed to get into the side. Uh, that is because 20 FPS was focused on uh, YB God, who got picked out for starting on the pipe area. So, and because of that, it, that, that was a really good ahead. trade, I would say. But unfortunately, they couldn't seal the round for themselves in the 3v3 because of the HP disadvantage. Immutable! Oh my god, 20 FPS going for the early pick will get punished by Immutable. And Immutable goes for the second pick as well. Takes on Punjabi with him. It's gonna be a 5v3 in the advantage of Team Punished now. Team Punished looking really strong in this round and Senex will take out Sporky. Senex with the 2 kills, equaling the man call, but Plex will trade him out and it's gonna be a 3v2 in the five favor of... Suddenly it's gonna be a 2v2 since Lucifer takes down Plex, it's gonna be a 2v2, nobody's favor, the plan goes down. 5v God, only with the Sheriff in his hand trying to get that, very really desperate to get that kill and will get that kill. 5v God, what a flick! On to Kami, will confirm the round for his team. That was a really quick push from the side of... Team Punish, it's really worked out for them and now they have the economy to go for the next buy round. Obviously, it didn't damage the economy of Initiative Esports, but that was a really crucial round for them. And now they still have a chance to tie up the score out to 6-6 six, six, six in this first half. Yeah, so I never say that because cast your scores might be real. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it is going to be 6-4 as of now. The score round reads, uh, IE is going to be leading the scoreboard with 11 kills by Jet and 11 kills by Reyna. Both the duelists doing really good work uh, in the defensive side and I hope they do the same work in the attacker side as well. Immutable going really really aggressive, a nice dash coming in, the recon is going to be spotting him. Nice wall coming in from YY God as well and uh, Reyna and Jet going really aggressive, flex and Immutable just going again and again backing up. Still going ahead and a white pit coming in to block off anyone uh, triple boxes. Actually, three man play coming in, four man play coming in from the defenders towards B side. They already have the early info. Spamming away 20 FPS alone on A side is going to be flanking, or yeah, he is going to be coming from middle. They, they would not expect uh, one more guy to coming from coming to. Uh, yeah, they would be expecting one more guy to be coming from middle. Kawai has all the info he needs. Is going to be going for the backstab on Kawai. Is going to be hitting one shot. Is he going to be spraying down the other one? Yes, he is going to be taking, taking down the other one as well. A 3k coming in, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 scenario, Viper's pit covers up the spike. Punjabi going for the going for the kills, not really connecting it. Immutable is going to be doing, going down though, but Sporky replying with a kill. A T-back coming in from Kawai as well. Uh, bye bye God as well. Uh, good to see what's happening here. 6 to 6 is still possible, I must say. I wouldn't really be sure about it. They are looking really good on the IE side. However, the economy is a little bit damaged on this case. Um, and on the other side, Immutable is going for the Operator Peak. It's going to be good to see if he can secure two or three frags, which will be really important. Actually, yeah, he is going again and again for the Operator Peak, dropping for his teammates. Good yeah. to know that. 6-5 to five in the favor of IE.
I think he's buying a spare gun for himself uh, in case he, I mean, he's probably gonna go for that early pick with the operator and when they push, try to push the side, maybe he's gonna go for that uh, gun pick. The, just like I said, after that operator pick, you can see him immediately switch to a phantom because he knows it's going to be the push towards the side. He just didn't want to waste the money, so why not just try an operator early pick uh, in case anybody from initially force decide to go very aggressive on them. And there you can see that's gonna be that operator and 20 FPS is gonna come for a really quick backstab and will take Kawhi and will fall back. And that's the revive comes in from Sporky and it's gonna be 20 FPS who's really annoyed because of the revive. If I, that's what I'm guessing. He's gonna be holding that mid, mid angle, denying their uh, rotation back and will Punjabi on the other hand will take down Flex. Was probably trying to fall back and Kawai will take and uh, will take down 20 FPS for having that really aggressive hold at mid immutable. What a shot! I couldn't even see him properly and with that fraction of a second he gets the shot done and uh, with that now team punish they are an advantage and you can see Senex on his ult will take down Kawai. Immutable very low on HP and also the sage as well. And uh, this is anybody's game at the moment and immutable really off angle it goes for the two. With the storm there is already the 3k for immutable. Can he go for the last kill? Can he finish his, finish the job away for his team? He doesn't know the last location of the last uh, uh, location of Kami, who's gonna drop into the pit anytime. And the uh, YB God is gonna be watching from a god position, so he's Here. gonna be able to take down Kami anytime soon because Kami is not gonna be expecting. Him. And just like expected, he's gonna walk into the uh, Viper's Molly and he's gonna get himself vulnerable. And YB God will take him down. And with Switching that, just size. like we expected, ladies and gentlemen, we got to see a. 6-6 six, six score in the first half of the last match of round number 32, day 1. Yeah, so the 6-6 six, six score is coming in as well. I like how they are playing. Uh, the Viper's pit, the Viper's ult is uh, really strong and did manage to vul make him vulnerable a lot. Dropping the HP. Uh, meanwhile, the ult by Immutable though. Uh, to be honest, that, the two right legs were actually really insane. I like the reaction timing on that. And now we will be seeing a tech pause coming in from the team of IE, I believe. Yes, the team for team of IE is going to be taking tech pause. Uh, actually, yeah, the team of uh, not IE, the team Punisher is going to be taking a tech pause as of now. Maybe the internet went off or something. We will be just waiting for them to join back in. I think they have two minutes or three minutes uh, before the admins unpause the match. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a good game. As of now, it looks like both the Jets are playing really good and the Vipers are playing good as well. Uh, Kami is playing the supporting role, whereas Y by God is playing the aggressive duelist and support role, as we saw earlier by Killjoy on um, by Buki actually on Ascent. That is exactly what Viper is going for. I like how the, how they are playing. The aggression is coming in, but uh, as of now, not really capitalizing on the aggression much. It is six to six, any man's game as of now. Yeah, both the teams looking really strong, and the observer showing us the uh, samurai. Over here, which is, which is a kind of an easter egg in this map and uh, which is uh, really weird to see. As you can see, the top view of this map. And uh, while we enjoy the top view, the players are going to get ready and we're going to be getting into that second half. We can see it's going to be a 6-6 six, six evenly paced match in that last map. Uh, I mean, last match of, for the day. Since unfortunately, the last match of the day, which is supposed, which was supposed to be the last match of the day, gets cancelled out because one team decides to drop out because of some personal issues. And uh, with that being said, can we get to uh, see a treat to watch in the second half? We have to wait and watch. So, and you can see it's gonna be initiated esports on the attack. They did a really good job on the defense. Can they do a, capitalize it into the attack side as well? We need to wait and watch what happens here. And Punjabi going on for that early don't just to uh, deny any over aggression zone by Team Punish and will spot off Flex. And that's gonna cost him. And just like I said, 20 FPS will go for the double kill. A wall bang headshot on the immutable. A really aggressive push from uh, Team Getting Punish will get punished. Will be punished by Initiator Esports uh, 20 FPS. That's gonna be really ironic. And you can see Punjabi going for the peak. Doesn't spot YB God will get taken down a uh, little bit of HP away from him and it's gonna be uh, Sporky who's gonna holding that yellow angle as well. It's gonna be YB God going for that aggressive peak, takes down 20 FPS. On the other hand, Senex going for that wall bang headshot onto Kawai and Sporky, the one lone man warrior on the B side while the plan goes down into A. He's gonna manage to take out the Soa but he needs to take three more people like that. In case we want to win this round for his team, it's go it's all up to Sporky at the moment. And expects Kami, nice HR onto Kami, it's gonna be a 1v2 at the moment. 
And can he take down Senex? Almost takes him down, I would say. But Senex was on his full HP. He was overhealed with the Sheriff in his hand. Looking too strong. And uh, he wasn't missing his shots. And um, yep, he got the kill. Now we are moving on to the second round. It's gonna be an eco round for the side of Team Punish. While we can see here. Uh, maybe initially sports they are not really okay they are going for the force buy we can see the specter buys coming in from them so this shouldn't be a problem for them to win unless unless team punish they pull out some crazy stuff you can see three uh, sheriff buys coming in from the side of team punish and the frenzy buy as well while sporky alone he's going to be Wonderful. on that classic role yeah talking about the classic role uh 20 fps with the 2k aggressive with the ghost that is what changed the round to be honest and uh, I, it props to him for going really aggressive and getting those kills early on. Uh, meanwhile, so what drone is going to be coming in and out. Just not really spot anyone. Uh, flash coming, double flash. From the now, spot two, three. Three have been spotted as of now. It's going to be jumping directly into the pit. It's going to go down to 22 HP. Lucifer, on the other hand, is going to be capitalizing the push from Kawhi. He's going to be taking down as well. They are pushing him really strong. I don't think he really knows they are being pushed. And yep, they know uh, Lucifer is going to be taking down as well. Why by God? Taking down Lucifer, 20 FPS. Taking off like last guy, very low. It's gonna be a crisp, clean headshot by uh, 20 FPS. I must say, he has a really nice aim as of now. He is playing confident, and that that shows when he peaks. He is fully confident, not really half half uh, cocking the shots, and is going for the peaks no matter what. Good to see aggression coming in from 20 FPS. Yep, and um, don't forget that it was an eco round for. I mean, it was a. Post around for the side of Initiator Esports and it was an eco round for the side of Team Punish. And now Initiator Esports they're gonna be going on that bonus round because they want a good buy for the next round. So at the moment it's anybody's game at this moment. It's gonna be a full buy for Team Punish. Can they take this round? We have to wait and watch. It's gonna be Initiator Esports attacking towards the A side. And it's immutable going for the aggressive peak. Doesn't manage to get anyone. He's gonna fall back and Flex will take down Lucifer who was trying to peek on that uh, cup. Uh, what you call the box area and will get uh, taken down and it's gonna be Kawai, Reina and the jet holding backside and 20 FPS will take down immutable but One Kawai will trade him out. Plex goes for the Spike double kill over there Kami and Punjabi will heal himself to full HP. It's gonna be a one, only one bullet on his gun. I think he noticed it and goes for the reload and it's gonna be Reina who's, be, who's coming on that, uh, uh, I mean what do you call that, uh, the A main area and he's gonna be having a uh, Marshall in his hand. Can he get the pick onto the rain of the enemy, the enemy rain now? A twin, a twin sister. Can he get it down? The spike is down onto the box, and can he get it? It's gonna be hard. He's gonna try to get some picks as much as picks as he can because this is a bonus round for them. They need to get as many picks as they as they can. They've already taken on immutable, but that's not enough damage that they have done for the team. And uh, Senex at the moment uh, trying to go really passive, trying to make uh, team punish go really. Uh, 30 seconds left. I mean, uh, not helping, I mean, not allowing Team Punish to hold their nerves and maybe hoping for the push from the side of Punish. But Punish at the moment, they are looking really calm. You can see Flex has been holding the same angle for the past 40 45 seconds and he hasn't moved even a bit and he's waiting for Senex and he shouldn't be. Oh, oh. Senex, he has been waiting for a long time. I think that made him go Ten for a cool left. down and will take down her uh, twin sister. But Kawai, on the other hand, will take him down as well. But now, I would say that was a really good eco round for the side of Initiator Esports. But still, that's not going to affect the buy of uh, Team uh, Punish that much. Because they are all going to be on their full buys. Uh, even the, including the Jet, maybe his teammates can buy a gun for him. And there you can see, it's going to be a full buy. Except for Flex, who's going to be on this half shield. Yeah, so Flex is going to be playing on the half shield. Looking at the scoreboard, it is going to be 17 kills towards uh, 20 FPS. And uh, Recon, drone, Recon coming in from Kawai early round, good to know. I think Immutable is going really, really aggressive with the... Wow, Reina and Jed are going really aggressive, covering each other off. Uh, Pipes is going to be covered off by the Recon and Immutable is going to be left alone. Can't really dash back, Kawai! A nice double tap to the dome and securing a kill towards Senex. And now it is going to be a 4v4 scenario. A nice drone tagging him down. He has to wait it out and is going to do that. And a drone coming in from Kawai as well. Ooh, the Viper's Pit and the Sova Shock Dart. Both of them joining up on the side. And now it is going to be uh, Kawai. Probably spawning... No, he's not going to be spawning the jet. That is really, really unlucky. <laughs> and uh, that was really fortunate for the side of uh, Team Punish. Because, uh, play I mean, uh, when Kawai went for the drone, he couldn't spot out 20 FPS. But uh, nonetheless, Flex was down to very low HP. But still, he was an result. Managed to get that headshot onto 
20 FPS and with the help of that he would be back to his full HP. It's gonna be a 3v3. Still in nobody's favor and E Punjabi will take him into their favor by taking down Sparky. And it's gonna, the plan's gonna go down and it's gonna be a post plan situation. In a 3v2 with a 3v2 advantage on the side of Initiative Sport. Initiative Sport Lucifer with a nice turn. Will take down Kawai, will take down Flex and it's gonna be it's gonna be 3k for him. What a play from Lucifer. I would say it was a really nice lurk from him. Uh, team Punish, they, were, they weren't even expecting that from the side of uh, Lucifer. It was really played very brilliantly and I would say that should be... That should... That I would call it a nail on the coffin in that round. And with that, it's gonna be a 9-7 lead in the favor of Initiative Sport. They are looking really strong. Because, because, not because of the two round leads. If you notice, it's gonna be an eco round for the side of Team Punish. Which isn't a good news because we are ending towards the end of the map and team initiator esports are on way. the lead as well and now it's gonna be an eco round so team punish they will be looking to pull out something miraculous in this game and that's why they went for the partial buys you can see the judges coming in they are looking try they're going to try and win this round if they can't this uh, they have to play really well in the upcoming round so let's see what happens the shock dots go shock dot goes and i initiators initiator esports 20 fps is gonna get three kills with his ult will whiff with the rest of his knife and he'll be very low on hp and senex We'll go for the aggressive pick and 20 Last FPS will take that to the gun. 20 FPS almost gets that ace. He's very low on HP as well. He's on 8 HP. But Senex will take, I mean, will seal his ace. And with that, that's going to be uh, yet another round for initiative sports. I think my co-caster has a little bit of, had a little bit of internet issues. He's disconnected for the moment and it's going to be all on me. And uh, Chalo. Uh, let's see what happens in this round and it's gonna be initiative sports on a very big lead now It's gonna be a force by come. I mean it's gonna be a full by coming in from the side of uh, Team punished and it's gonna be looking like kind of an awkward buy from the side of initiative sports as you can see They have a bulldog on their side. Let's see what happens here and uh, Yep, as you can see it's uh, pretty even for both the teams at the moment. Let's see what happens for them and you can see and Team Punish, they are making their uh, team initiate but they are making their way towards the A side where this is kind of a split push from them. Uh, you can see that coming and Sporky is going to be holding that close angle towards that A side. Can he deny the Reyna off? We need to wait and watch. And it's going to be 20 FPS making his way towards the elbow. Will spot down Sparky. Will Sparky take down 20 FPS? It's going to be a 5 for advantage in the side of Team Punish. It's really going to be interesting to watch what he can do here. So it's gonna be uh, Senex on very low HP, you can see, so 9 HP, he needs to get a kill if he wants to heal himself or he needs to fall back to, uh, to Lucifer who can heal himself because he is a sage and he does have the heal and Healing. there he will get healed and um, the jet is already down, it's all up to the Reyna who just got healed, who's probably not on his best HP, he's gonna be on 69 HP. He can only tank, uh, or he can only afford to tank one bullet and he'll have to get a kill and he'll have to get the entry towards the B side while... YB God is going to be camping right there. Now, will take two. Will take three. Standing. Will take four. YB God, the monster, the Viper monster, will manage to take the whole team of Initiator Esports down. What a sneaky angle and what an amazing play by YB God. That was a really crucial round and it was played really well by YB God and uh, that would help uh, Team Punish put up that eight, eighth round on the board for them. And Initiator Esports, as you can see, they have put up ten boards on the round, as you can see. So. Let's see who's going to win this uh, map from here. Don't get in my way. And uh, the round of status, as you can see, Initiator is for Lucifer going for that. Uh, Plex going for that uh, aggressive push and will punish him. Senex will take a kill on the bid and 20 FPS as well. All the One people of Initiator were popping up. To 20 FPS with another kill, Sparky will take down Senex and nonetheless, so it's gonna be a 1v4 in the favor of uh, Initiator Esports, but Sparky on very low HP, but he's not going to be good enough to bust that 1v4 because this push has been revealed and with that, it's gonna be round number 11 on the board for Initiator Esports, a very quick round coming from the side of Initiator Esports, but we weren't expecting that a little bit of aggression showed from the team punished, who are punished for their aggression by every single player, player from the side of Initiator Esports and that will cost them that round and it's gonna be an uh okay that's good that's gonna be a pass coming in from the side of initiator esports so we have a little bit of time ladies and gentlemen so let me check up what happened to my co-caster if he's coming back or something uh okay so i have got a confirmation from the admin so let's see what happens here
So unfortunately, we are. Go I'm going to be casting uh, for the at the for at the moment. I think my co-caster is having a little bit of power issues in his place. So you know, it's uh, in India power cut issues. We know uh, how it is, right? So it's gonna be me uh, carrying this forward until he comes back. So let's see what I watch the uh, buy over here. So team punish. They're going for an operator pick. They have to do something different because what they have been doing now, uh, ha they have been getting punished from team initiative sport, which has been a kind of an uh, unexpected uh, move from the side of uh, initiative sport. They have been really aggressive and successful and punishing team punish for the their aggressiveness. And uh, you can see immutable going for that operator pick. He needs to pick up some vital kills for his team if they imagine to go close up that uh, eleven. Uh, I mean three round lead. And I think the pass is going to go off and we will see round number uh, 20 going on any moment soon. And you can see uh, the top fragger of the whole map is uh, whole match is going to be 20 FPS who has been doing a really good job for his team. Putting up his team with a 3 round lead. And uh, let's see what happens here. The next go on an early Reina ult. Can he capitalize it? And Sua on the other hand will spot out uh, one guy and oh that's going to be Kawai. With the 200 IQ down a. counter ult coming in, not only does he take out Soa, he will also tag out Senex who is on his ult. And this is going to prove costly for any resource and yes, Immutable with an insane angle. Will go with an insane flick onto Senex, will take down Senex and that backstab, nobody is watching tubes. And with, with that help, any, uh, Lucifer will walk in from the tubes and will go to city and will take down two and put the man count to equal. Now it's all on two, uh, it's going to be a 3v3 push uh, and uh, Initiator Esports. They are looking strong at the moment since 20 FPS will manage to take down YB God. And uh, Flex making his way towards the mid. I don't think Initiative Sport realized that he should Last be able to get one. Standing. Nope, Lucifer is like, no, no, no. He just punished him over there and it's going to be all up to Immutable. I think Immutable uh, should be going for a save or he might go for that pick. If he goes for the save, it's going to be a four round match point for the side of Initiative Sport. You can see Lucifer holding that kitchen angle. If Immutable decides to walk up through that snowman, 30 seconds I, uh, left. Snorky can pick up, I mean not Snorky, my bad. It's gonna be uh, Lucifer who can pick up at any moment and kill him. But never mind, it's gonna be 20 FPS who's gonna be taking out his counterpart of his opponent team. And with that, it's gonna be 12 8 And Ejade Esports there in the match point. And now, now not only are they in a match point, you, if you clearly see, it's gonna be a uh, team punished on a very bad economy. Now they have to go for a very... Uh, awkward force round you can see a judge coming in from them you can see a stinger coming in from them you know when a team goes for a stinger by uh usually people don't like to put it up put it i mean put it up in their lineup strategy but they're going for a stinger by because they're really broken and they need to win this round you can see a flex going for the vandal by without team so this round is going to be interesting can initiate his support seal off uh, team punish and get the win or will team punish come back for uh, make the comeback happen? Why be God gets the first kill with the shotgun, gets the second. Why be God? Why be God is still keeping the story alive, but you I think Lucifer will revive ally. Kami any moment soon. And yes, we can see that revive coming in while on the other side, you can see uh, oh, Sparky had the ult as well, but will not be able to revive because uh, Sen is taken down. It's gonna be an aggressive push from Black, will get two, will get the dismiss done, but Senex will trade him, trade out immutable for him. It's gonna be a 2v2, but Flex is on very low HP. He's gonna be going on his alt, and it's gonna be all up to Kawai to help his teammate to go for that kill or go for a clutch. This is really crucial for the side of Team Punish because if they lose this round, it's the last end of the road for them. Standing. And that's the last player. And with that, Team Initiator Esports standing tall today for the last map of the day. What a performance from these guys! What a what a performance! What a treat to watch! This was an amazing treat to watch, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, we will get to see the scoreboard at any moment soon. And uh, as you could see, it's going to be, <coughs> excuse me, it's going to be 20 FPS who's going to be the match MVP with three first bloods. It's an amazing performance from the side of uh, Initiator Esports. I would say they are standing tall with the read of, uh, it's going to be a score of 13-8. Uh, and uh, Team Punished who were like looking pretty strong from the far half. I mean, they were giving an equal fight and then suddenly Initiator Esports started reading uh, the gameplay of Team Punished and they really played the counterpart really well and that put them across that line and Senex and 20 FPS doing a really really commendable job or job on that duelist role player taking out three and four um, first plays or for each on their name and uh, the rest of the uh, team also played really well the look uh, I mean Kami obviously he's a smoker so he's playing very passive you can see that he has the least number of death in the whole lobby he was playing super passive Punjabi on the other hand was helping his team to get that entry while 20 FPS and Senex went on for that entry but this Lucifer he helped his team get like two or three crucial rounds in the mid game 
with this uh, sneaky lurk and you can see that lurk in that uh, pre la the round previous to the last round that lurk really helped them win the whole match because they were already in a 3v5 disadvantage and he went on to get that lurk and he got two kills over there which helped them to equalize the man count by 3-3 and even then after that he also went to get another and uh, we keep seeing Lucifer like he only has 15 kills but his impact kills has been uh, really good and really more so ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching the stream it's me deployed unfortunately uh, watching Abyss who was supposed to be next to me he had some power cut issues so he is not with me right now so it's me deployed signing off from you guys we will see you guys tomorrow with the next set of round of 32 matches next to tomorrow is going to be amazing uh, don't forget the all the teams that you saw in round of 64 they are also going to be playing in round of 32 as well so we will see the next set of matches tomorrow so don't uh miss your stream go ahead and subscribe to the channel turn the post notifications on so uh and let's uh, and get ready for tomorrow's stream and that's it for today. Unfortunately, the last match that was uh, supposed to happen after this will not happen because Team Hi-Fi Esports, they abandoned the match because of some personal issues and Team WDK will get a default win. And uh, this is uh, Yoda, Community, Yoda Community Cup Season 2 sponsored by Exit Lag, Pandey Electronics, Max Britannia and Saha Gamers. And Saha Gamers is also the owner of uh, Yoda Esports who joined us in the casting table like a while ago. So go ahead and subscribe to your Yoda Esports channel guys. Go ahead and join the Discord if you guys want to participate in the Yoda Esports, uh, if they conduct any tournaments in the future, if you don't want to miss it, go ahead and join the Discord server, you will get all the notifications there. And uh, that's it, uh, I'm, it's me, Deployed, signing off from you guys, I will see you guys tomorrow, and bye-bye, uh, take care. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> MD, JPB, it's only right, baby. Yeah, why you mad? I got a bad bro, name hot in these streets, no Tabasco. Uh -huh. But I'm so stuck, that's a fact, yo. And if you think I'm running, you can run it back, yo. Go on, run it back. You know that I run it. Everything you wanna do, I already done it. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one, that one. Damn, it's gonna be a long night. Yeah. You know. I said, uh, I said, damn, it's gonna be a long night. Shorty drop it for a real one. Yeah. Go ahead and pop it, let me feel some. Let me feel some. Do it for the boy with a bag yeah. now. Movie star money making everybody act out. Hey. I don't lie to these women. If I want them, then I tell them. Don't yeah. get fly for these women. I was born with these propellers. All my haters cannot beat me, so I call them my capellas.